Alrighty. I wonder if we're live. Let's check. It says I'm live. It's my first YouTube stream in like a billion years. The last time I did one of these was... Fuck, I don't even know, to be honest. Division days, maybe? So long ago. But we're back on YouTube. I thought I'd just mix it up. I usually stream on Twitch, but... Um, I thought I'd give it a go on YouTube today, just to see what it's like. See what happens. Um, with people are rocking up. See, things are happening. Things are, things are taking place. What's going on, everyone? Hello. Welcome. Uh, this is, as I said, the first YouTube stream in a long time. I'm usually on Twitch. But we're going to give it a go today because uh, my, <laughs> my, uh, my Fallout video has been surprisingly... It's much bigger than I expected it to have been, right? I really put that video out as expecting maybe 30 or 40, maybe 50k views. And um, then it just went completely gangbusters. I think it's now at 850 or something like that. Oh, well, I didn't reload it. Um, so, yeah. I was like, wow, all right, cool. Obviously, a lot of people are interested in this game. Uh, and I thought I'd just do some streaming on Twitch to let you guys know what it's about. You can see it for yourself, and you can decide if I'm being a dickhead. Because a lot of people fucking hate. They hate my video. Like, they think it is the worst thing ever. They think it's totally one-sided, it's terrible. Um, and so I thought, well, why don't we just do a big fat stream of, what, four hours, roughly? It's about three and a half hours until the beta goes down. And then people can decide for themselves if this is a shit game and I am actually just being a clickbaity YouTube jerk, which we all know I am, but maybe I'm not in this one instance, huh? Maybe I'm breaking form just this one time. So, um, you want to see that water? Yeah, man, we'll, we'll see some water. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get that happening for you. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for everyone for stopping by. Welcome to the stream. Um, very glad to have everyone here today. Uh, I'm currently streaming Fallout 76 on a 1080 Ti and 8700K um, i7. Uh, you know, it's a chunky machine, right? And And I have to run it in a very specific way. I have to run it full screen. I have to run it at um, 1440. At, sorry, I have to run it, run it borderless windowed. Oh, wait, where am I running it now? Hang on, did I have to change it? I, I had to, I've messed with these settings so many times, I don't even remember now. Uh, I'm running borderless windowed 1440p, okay? Now, uh, it runs okay. It's certainly not great, but it's stable enough. There are some massive frame drops that I get in certain instances, and there's tons of pop-in that occurs. I've got the, the graphics on high, by the way. I can't pump them to ultra, um, because if I put to ultra, this the, the game just is just... It's just too shit. The frame rate just collapses, you know? So, uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of optimization before launch, but, you know, we don't know. <laughs> I'm very skeptical. Launch is nine days away now, so... Can, can you rebuild this engine so that it works within nine days? Uh, given the fact that the engine is like 15 fucking years old? I don't know, man. I'm skeptical of that. But we'll, we'll remain hopeful and we'll, we'll reserve final judgment on that, okay? So that's from a performance perspective. Um, the other reason I'm playing it on this computer as opposed to my other computer is my other computer is ultra-wide, the monitor, and this has no ultra-wide support whatsoever. In fact, it's worse than no support because in other games where they have no ultra wide you'll just see two black bars down the side of the screen but what it does in this game is it actually stretches out like the 16 by 9 image across the thing so it looks dumb it looks so dumb but um yes it's it's that so you can see what this game looks like so that's just the technical perspective okay then i think we can talk about visually and what this game is like in terms of a 2018 game okay now a lot of people are very mad at me that i made fun of the water in this game people um people see people think that i'm being a dick because i like i looked at some water and i'm like man this you're so nitpicky i use the water as an example of just like how out of date i think this looks at this game like i think this is a like i'm playing red dead redemption at the moment as i'm sure many of you are okay like it's honestly like traveling back in time when i play this game honestly it feels like i'm going back and i've modded some old pc game from 
2010 and I'm and I'm playing through it to do one of those retrospective reviews. Do you know what I mean? That is the part. <laughs> when I log into this game, it just looks ugly. It just looks ugly, you know? And, and you can see it here. This is about as much graphical detail as you'll ever see in the game. This is a town area. You can see lots of textures. Um, you can see the draw distance is pulled out. You can see all sorts of stuff, right? But even then, it just, it just doesn't look good, man. It just doesn't look good. So I think for a game that's coming out in 2018, I think this looks very dated, you know, separate from all of the technical performance the stuff, I think the game looks dated, all right? So, um, your mileage may vary. Maybe you think this looks beautiful. I have heard some people say that they think the game looks stunning, which I find really interesting, um, but you know, fair enough. Everyone has their own preferences, okay? So, that's the design. Let's talk about gunplay, okay? Um, this is VATS, okay? So now I'm, I'm aiming around, I can just look up at the sky, and then what I do is I press the Q button, like this, and it'll automatically aimbot me onto this dude. Now, even though I'm right here, apparently I only have a 70, 80% chance to get him, okay? So I can just, I can Q again to let go of that. That's it, so again, look away, press Q, auto aimbot onto him, and then I can just click the button. I can actually try and move, I'm moving my mouse left and right now, now it doesn't do anything. And then I press the shoot button, and it will automatically shoot him, okay? now. I just did it again then really fast, right? So, so... First of all, this looks really dumb, okay? It just looks really goofy. And I think it's it's just straight up aimbot. That's what it is in this game, you know? And especially, you can use this in PvP. That, for me, is a big... Is a big... Uh, I don't know, man. Because you, you're basically in a situation where, you know, you're playing, and then, uh, you know, you're in a PvP encounter. Uh, you have a bit of AP saved up because that bottom right hand bar one like right there or whatever I don't know um, that's what you spend for a VATS uh, and then you just press Q and you're automatically targeting someone you know so for me personally that's a pretty dumb PvP game if there's an aimbot that's built into the game I mean usually video games go to great lengths to remove aimbotting <laughs> it's like their primary focus of any cheat is to remove aimbot but this game has it built into it now I get that VATS is an important part of Fallout and I like that. I like that. You know, it's cool. It's a cool system in the single player game. In the multiplayer game, when there's PvP enabled, I think it does more more harm than good, you know? Um, oh, look at this. Whoa. Look, whoa, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, cool. Um, Alts, uh, 5 euros, and Kingsman. I don't even know what currency that is. Is that Swedish Krons? Crown? I don't know. 20 of them. I don't know if that's like 20 cents you've given me or if it's like 50 bucks Australian. I literally have no idea. But thank you very much, guys, for that. That's very generous of you. Um, appreciate the support. Anyway, so so that's I'm not loving. I think it looks silly. Uh, and I don't think building an aimbot into a game where there is competitive play is uh, a, a very good idea, personally. That's my hot take, okay? Um, Beyond that is the broader question of like gunplay. So let's just find some enemies. What the fuck was that? Look at that. <laughs> okay, for some, I think because the um, enemy was shooting at me, they were able to damage that truck. I hear something, wait, what's, what's this? What's in here? Can I fall down here and not die? Oh shit. Liberator, oh, what the hell was that? Okay, yeah. So there's the broader question of gunplay. Um, Gunplay is very clunky. Why can't I take anything? Okay, there's, a, there's another bug here, by the way, where you can't actually pick up stuff until you go to the transfer menu, and then you go back out, and then you can pick up stuff. So we can add that to the list. Um, there's a treasure map. Oh, I've got one of these before. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Um, I think there's a broad, broader question about gunplay. Fallout gunplay has never been particularly great. Um, it's been fine. It does the job, okay? But we never played Fallout for the gunplay. We played it because, you know, it's a cool RPG and we get to level up and we get to have all these interesting builds and we do all this shit, right? Um, uh, yeah, more stories, okay, great. So, what happens now though is the game is extremely reliant upon its gunplay because it's about open world adventuring and survival where you've got to go into areas where enemies respawn extremely quickly where public events happen and just waves of enemies come at you so you, you really are grappling with the weapon mechanics a hell of a lot more and given how central they become it really lays bare just how 
how shitty they are and very very clunky and outdated and unsatisfying you know so so that's just and that's just on a pve front on a pvp front man it's so hard to hit targets with like a bolt action weapon if you're close to them or people just run up to you with melee weapons and start swinging it feels like a very very clunky mess which is you know pretty standard for a lot of open world pve uh sorry sandbox survival games but um yeah it, it definitely it definitely has its its problems so that's gunplay um I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, where am I at this point, actually? I'm kind of just walking around. Oh, that's right. I was trying to get some blood samples for something, but that didn't end up working. I was here, try, I could try, it sent me here to, to get collect some stuff, and I walked around for like 15 minutes, and eventually nothing spawned that I wanted, so I logged off in frustration. That was, the, that was yesterday's stream, by the way. That's what happened. So, um, that's gunplay. Uh... The other thing is story and exposition, okay? Now, you'll notice here, I'll show you this, because I think this is important. Uh, wait, I keep forgetting how to get my people. Okay, um, Dada is our quest area. We've got main quests here. We've got two main quests that we're working on. There's also a bunch of side quests. Um, there's daily quests, and there's events which can take place nearby you, okay? Um, the entire main quest lines are delivered through uh, holo tapes, so like just voiceovers that you pick up and you start playing them, and the uh, you know the also notes like there's people will leave a note on the ground, you pick it up and read it, and so much reading off computer screen terminals, right? You just sit there in front of a green of a screen and you just read green text on the screen. Okay, uh, I don't like that. I think it's boring, right? Your mileage may vary on that big time because I know a lot of really hardcore Fallout fans. They love the lore and a lot of the lore from Fallout doesn't come from the main quests. It comes from reading those computer terminals and those notes left behind and all that sort of shit. People can, people, a lot of people think that's really immersive, okay? Fair enough. That's fine. I'm not saying that's not the case for you. I'm just saying it's definitely not the case for me. And I really find that there's so little story to cling to in this. Uh, I, I honestly don't know what's really happening at this point. And I'm like, what, 20, 15 hours in, maybe 20 hours in? I know there's an overseer that I'm trying to follow. That's all I know, you know? And I think the broader meta narrative is trying to understand what's taken place in the, you know, when the bombs fell and how everyone died and all that sort of shit, right? Fine. But it's not very engrossing just to look back and say, well, what happened based upon hollow tapes and reading notes? It's, I don't find that particularly engaging, you know? Yeah, so you can even see the frame rate here, by the way. Like, this is, as I said, is on a 1080 Ti. This is a proper machine that we're running at, and we're only running at high settings. I can't even run this at ultra, because to do so is to really tank the machine. And just in case there's any doubt, um, I'm running a dual PC setup for this stream. So my PC that's playing the game has no load on it whatsoever associated with this stream, right? None whatsoever. So uh, it gives you a sense of what this performance is like. Um... The other thing that happens when you have this bolt action weapon ugh, is that uh, when you are reloading, it actually slows your movement down massively. So it actually makes the game play for you feel even more clunky and slow. Who is shooting at me? Let's have a look. Oh, this guy up here. Let's see if we can... Got him. Um, so, so yeah, from an exposition perspective, and, and I think this is so important to understand about this game, and I'm sorry I'm ranting on a little bit, but I feel like, you know, we're talking about the game and I'm sharing my thoughts after you know 20 hours play whatever um a lot of oh shit a lot of people are gonna say guys you don't get this game they say it's a it's a um it's a pve game right it's for pve players if that's the case it's only the case if you um want to collect things build a build a base for some reason um just be in the fallout world right if you're looking for a PvE game that has any semblance of story that's delivered to you with a narrative, as opposed to just text on pages or whatever, if you're looking for any narrative provided to you, it's really not for you. And I think the majority of people that pick this up as solo PvE-focused players are going to find themselves really bored, okay? The, the big defense that comes with this game is that, like, you know, system requirements, friends. You know, that's what people say. System requirements, friends. Um... They say it gets much better if you play it with friends. Now, standing in line at the DMV is fun if you have friends with you. Like, anything becomes more fun with friends, right? It's just a fact of life, you know? 
like circle jerk. Look up that phrase, okay? Anything becomes more fun with friends. <laughs> that is not an excuse for a game itself not being good, you know? Uh, I, 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 if I was playing this with my friends, I would still be bored of the game. I would just be enjoying their company. Do you know what I mean? Wait, who is shooting at me? This is another challenge that you get a lot as well. Like, you got to find out where stuff's shooting at you based on positional audio and like... There he is. So he's shooting me through that, right? He can shoot me through that and I have nothing... I couldn't even see him. It's very standard. That happens a lot, by the way. That's why you just saw me stop and just look around, right? Um, so so if, if you want to say a game is more fun with friends and that's your justification for saying it's a good game, uh, I, I really disagree with that. I think a game should stand on its own two feet first and then become more fun with friends. It shouldn't be a shit game unless you're playing it with friends. I know there are other examples like Mario Kart. Like, do you want to play solo Mario Kart? No. But we understand what, what we're talking about with the difference with that, okay? Because uh, Mario Kart is an exceptional game on its own, right? Before you add friends into the mix, right? It just becomes way more fun with friends. So, so that's a challenge. People are talking now about the UI on the screen. I totally agree with you. Part of this is to do with the fact that I um, have just got all those quests active right now because I'm tracking them. Fuck, my weapon broke. This happens a lot as well. Um, do I have anything else? What do I? What else have I got? I've got my pipe gun, which is shit. I have this, my SMG. Okay. Um, yeah, weapons break a lot. Uh, and another challenge you will face a lot is that uh, there's so little material that you need to repair your weapons. There's so little adhesive and so little aluminium, which are the two most precious resources in this game. I went two and a half hours one time looking for a single piece of adhesive so that I could repair a weapon and I couldn't find any. I really believe there's some big problems with the um, economic balancing of core survival items in this game. So... Um, so, there's that. UI on screen. Yes, it's very bad. Okay. But let's also talk about the bro the more challenging UI problem. Okay. And I'll, and I'll give you... An, I'll just make sure there's no one around here first before I start talking. Okay. The real problem with the UI isn't all that shit on the right side of the screen, which you can't resize, by the way. You're stuck with that unless you just want to remove those items. Hang on. I just want to kill this guy. There we go. Okay. The real problem is actually... Oh, God. Go away, please. Just die. There's more. We're about to ding level 15, so that's good. That's something. Hang on, let me just kill this guy down here so that we're not bothered by him. Come on. Come on, buddy. Bruh. What are you doing? Got him. Okay. Um, I think I need to tank that short hunting rifle, actually, because my one's broken. Um, enemy respawns, by the way, are also a challenge because I've just cleared out this area. I reckon by the time I've stopped talking to you about UI, there's probably they would have respawned. So that's another that's another fun thing. Okay, um, the big problem with the UI hazmat suit. Thanks. Um, I can still hear them coming. Okay, the big problem with the UI is Pip Boy. Now, this is the Pip Boy. I can change the view of it so you can see what it actually looks like traditionally. Right, this is it. Um, this is straight drag and drop from Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, when you bring up Pip-Boy, it like pauses the action, so it's like, it's okay, it's fine. Um, and it's, it, it was a bit out of date and clunky then as well, right? But now, in a survival game, when there's no pause button, you basically need to get to your shit really fast. If you need to access a specific item, you need to access it quickly. And, you know, you've got to go through this very clunky app menu to do that, unless you've put it on favorites, okay? Which you can absolutely do. But there's also just so many items to pick up and your entire inventory is so bloated. Like, look at how many items I've got here that I've just collected in the world. And they all have something that's pretty useful to me in the context of this game. I kind of want to keep all of them, but they take up a lot of carry limit and I have to sort through all of them so much. I found one item, which was a piece of bubble gum that five per for, it said for two minutes, it slows your hunger and your food uh, you know, like, you know, getting hungry, getting thirsty for 5%. Now, why the fuck is that in the game, man? We don't need that in the game. That's just bloat. That just takes up another line item on all of this, and it's it's shitty, man. Anyway, so there's a problem with the navigation of the UI. It's not fit for purpose for a multiplayer game. 
And furthermore, there are too many items in the game that just contribute to a general sense of bloat within the UI, right? Um, what else? What else? Uh, hang on, let's just kill this guy quickly. Okay. Um, carry limit. Oh man, carry limit is a big problem. You'll spend the vast majority of your time playing this game at the carry limit, you know? Like, the UI, uh, sorry, the, the, the stash size is also capped at uh, 400, 400 pounds or something. So even what I'm carrying is pretty limited, but I also have a stash back on my base and I can only put up to 400 pounds in it, right? That's a big problem because it's getting pretty full pretty fast and people who have played more of this game than I have are super frustrated because it's just not enough space, okay? I gotta kill this guy quickly. Um, come on, man. Bruh! Got him. I've got to. I've got to eat quickly because I'm gonna die soon. So let's just do that. Does Nuka Cola give me HP? It does. Yes. Yes. Um. Anything else? Do I? No, I don't need to drink. Yeah, you also need to eat and drink in this game. Uh, not doing so will reduce your stats. And if you're above 75% uh, on your stats, then you get some bonuses to things like carry limit. Okay. Um. What are we talking about? Yes, so the carry limit is a big problem. Now, he here's why carry limit is especially problematic in Fallout, okay? Everything in Fallout is server hosted. When we play Fallout single player, um, you know, it's no big deal when we have huge inventories. It doesn't make a difference because it's all stored on our hard drive. When you store items on a, on a server, it costs Bethesda money. Every single item that you have on a server costs them money. That's why things like the division and destiny etc etc they're so reluctant to increase your stash sizes because it literally hits their bottom line when they do that otherwise they'd give you fucking infinite stash size but that's why they don't do it and i've spoken to developers about this this is not me talking out my ass this is fact right um i'm very worried that they're going to make stash size very small and very limited forever because they don't want to spend the money on additional stash size. Uh, very concerned about that, you know? I think a lot of people are just just imagine it's like, hey, click a button, let's get get more stash, please. But the reality is, is quite different to that, you know? So we'll see if that changes. I really hope it does, because right now it's definitely hurting the experience. No question about that. And the, the, the solve is not as easy as we might like. So that's uh, storage space and UI. I've got a... Wait, what have I got to do here? I've got to make basic repairs at the reactor system? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I think I've got some other guns that I can use. So I'm just trying to... Actually, I can show you guys leveling up now. That's good. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll show you, the... I'll show you that. How's my day going, Randall? It's going well, buddy. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Uh, I know I'm just going thick and fast just talking here, so apologies. I am reading a little bit of the chat, but it's also going pretty fast, and I'm just sort of like doing a little bit of a spiel now to orient you to the game in case you hadn't seen it yet and also i imagine lots of people are going to watch the vod of this so i think this little beginning part is kind of useful so let's talk about leveling up to level up i open up my pip boy and then i press the t button and that brings me to my perk menu okay you have an unopened pack of cards would you like to open it yes i would thank you so here are my cards wait i can hear something Fuck. okay so these are the cards that i've got I hope I'm not being killed right now. I have a little cheesy joke. What does dad hate about Father's Day? Having to celebrate it. I guess that's funny. Anyway, these are the different cards that I can get. Stuff like, can I, can I scroll through these? No, I can't. Okay, so perfect example. The UI doesn't even let me scroll through the new cards I've just acquired, okay? Bad luck. You, you had to see them as they were coming through. Hope you were paying attention. Otherwise, we'll have to come back to those later. Now, here is when I can hear someone nearby me. I don't know what that is. Um, here is when we now look at our points, okay? Is that me being shot at? I'm going to come back to this. Yes, it was. It's one of the enemies. Okay. Give me some ammo. Thank you. Let's see if I can just maybe go into a building or something that's going to give me a little bit more cover for this explanation. Is there anywhere? Because I'm being shot at again. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about where the enemies just respawn really fast. Where is this guy? What the fuck? Look at him! God damn it, man. God damn it. Okay. We're gonna just leave that for now. Okay, let's see if I can just hide here and line of sight him and we'll see if we get shot at. Alright, let's go back to perks. Um, 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 um. 
Cool. Now, this asks me, where do you want to put points? Okay. Up the top here, your special, which are your stats, stuff like strength, perception, endurance, etc. Uh, and I can put cards <coughs> underneath each of those based upon how many points I've got available in each of those stats. So now it's asking me, all right, dude, what do you want to put more points into? What kind of build do you want to have? Now, my build to date has been quite perceptions based because it's about rifles, okay? Combat training means automatic rifles do 10% more damage. Now, I don't have any automatic rifles, but I'd like to one day, so we'll come back to that. Pistols are also something I'm using very often, uh, riflemen, etc. So this is a stat that I'm putting a lot of points into. Uh, I might do this again now just to do it. Um, fine, yep, cool. And I can combine cards as well when I have like doubles, you know. So I'm going to put this now. I'm going to do non-automatic rifles, which I'm very reliant upon. Now you'll see here in the perception side, I've got a, I've got five points in perception, and I've only using three because that's how many cards I've got. So I'm going to put my rifleman card on, and that's that. Okay. So that's how I, um, that's how you manage things. So you can see here with strength, I've got three points in strength, but I've only got two cards. So I've got one point just being wasted right now. The rest of them, I'm at cap for everything else, and they give me different benefits. Now, right now, I'm not really feeling like this RPG system is um, really allowing me to create a really robust, specific build, but I'm very early on in the piece. I want to be clear about that. I'm, I think I've heard Todd talk about like level uh, 80 in this game or something. I think you can get pretty high level, and I'm only, what, did I say level 15 then? Was it level 15? Something like that. So there's a long way to go, but right now I'm certainly not feeling the effects of those RPG decisions. They're very incremental and you do get the feeling like they'll build up over time more than anything else. Charisma, because someone asked about that, really good question. I'll show you. Charisma actually gives you a whole bunch of stuff relating to being in a party or being solo. So for example, players you revive, um, hunger and thirst grow 40% more slowly when you're in a camp or in a team workshop. Buying and selling prices at vendors are better. Inspirational. When you're on a team, you gain 5% more XP. So it really sort of says, are you going to be playing this game solo or with a friend? And it allows you to build around that. You know, um, I haven't seen too many cards in that space. So I can't comment fully on what that looks like. But yeah, that's, that's how it works. So that's leveling up. Uh, you just saw the lighting change all of a sudden then. Happens very often as well. I think when they're showing the change of weather, the game will just all of a sudden brighten up or just all of a sudden get dark and then just all the lights turn on over in one, in one second. So um, new member, welcome Kingsman. What's going on, dude? Thanks very much. You can actually become a member of the channel by clicking join, by the way, just so this is clear. If you want to support what I do, you can, there's like a join button or something and then you pay whatever and you become a member and I don't know it's like subscribing on Twitch but also when I do my big reviews it does mean you get one of the scripts the special limited edition scripts that I put together so that also could be cool anyway that's the that's the that's the selling um pipe bolt action what is this okay we'll, we'll take it we need some guns so we need to do something um but yes, thanks very much and welcome to Kingsman. Now we're trying to find our way inside to this facility, I guess. I don't exactly know what I'm doing here because there's no marker that I can see, but I, I, I definitely need to do something here. I want to try and figure out how to get down without dying. So that's our first challenge because I, I got up here while I was talking to you guys and I do not remember um, when I was so, so, uh, you know, Let's, let's just see if I can... Oh, here we go. This looks like... Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, oh, God. Okay, we got it. We did it. We did it, Reddit. I'm proud of us. Okay. Can we go inside? No. We cannot go inside. We're going to get shot at by this thing, though. Great. Come on, man. A lot of recoil in this gun. Very hard to handle. So, am I in the process of reviewing this game at the moment? Sort of. Um, I'm definitely playing a lot of it to try and get as high level as I can for when the game releases. Uh, and then I will put, you know, 20, 30 hours, whatever, into the final product when it's released. And that will be what I base my review on. I won't base my review on the beta because that's unfair. I will base it on the fully released game. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have a review out when that happens, so. I'm seeing a huge number of Fallout 4 assets. Absolutely. I do not think it is unfair to call this game an asset flip. I really don't. I know that sounds very harsh, 
but um, I do not think that is in all, at all inaccurate to call this an asset flip of a game because 90% of what I'm seeing, I have seen elsewhere in Fallout 4. Uh, you know, it looks the same or worse because the performance is not optimized. So yeah, do, do keep that in mind. Oh my God, my rad just went absolutely nuts then. Radiation has given you a mutation. You gain positive and negative. Okay, well, this is a first for me. I've never actually had a mutation. So let's check out what this mutation is. Uh, status. S effects. Marsupial. Int minus four. Carry weight plus two. Plus jump height. Hey, I can jump really high now. All right, so basically what just happened, you have mutated and become a marsupial, which is kind of perfect given that this is an Australian stream, right? This is absolutely <laughs> perfect. It couldn't be any better. Okay, so now I'm a motherfucking kangaroo bitch in Fallout 76 for your viewing pleasure, okay? And um, that's it. That's what happened. I'm a kangaroo, right? I can jump really high. Apparently, the mutations can also give you negative effects, but I don't see anything negative about this one except my intelligence went down by four. So I guess they're saying kangaroos aren't very smart. That's not very nice. We'll just forget. We'll forget about that. Um, where's the Mothman? Did you see the Mothman? Oh, God. Did you see the frame chug down just then? Can you guys see that? Because even here, you can see, just like, look, just panning around, you can see the performance. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's rough. There is also a Mothman who kind of tours around. He's this creepy dude with red eyes. And if you get close to him, he just like pieces out. So, um, okay, where are we going? Um, I got to get rid of my, oh, I'm still getting radiation poisoning here. I guess that's poisonous, that as well. Right, well, we'll, we'll, not, we'll not stick around there then. I definitely need to. You can just see he's sliding, he's moonwalking around. A lot of broken animations um, so far that I've seen as well. Let's um, try and heal ourselves up. Oh, fuck, when I get rid of this guy. Fuck. Oh god, no. I'm out, am I out of bullets? Yes, I am. Pipe gun, go. Got him. What else is alive? Something else is alive. This guy. Okay. Time to use right away. Item. I'm running low on right away as well, so I'm a bit worried about that. But anyway, we need to use a lot of it right now. And then we can uh, eat a bit. And can eat, I guess. Stim pack? Uh, let's use that. Okay, cool. I need to use more right away. Jesus Christ. All right. All right, we're fully... We're pretty much fully good. Okay. Um... I'm out of bullets on my gun. This looks bloody awful, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look the best. It doesn't look the best. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's rough, it's rough. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try and find where we need to go for this quest because we've been trying to chase it down. Make repairs at the reactor system is what we're trying to do. So I guess it's in here is where I go. Let's just, we'll get through this water, which I'm sure will give us a bit of radiation poisoning. It is, it's fine, whatever. And uh, we'll loot a bit of this stuff, a bit of that. His pistol's broken, but good on him. He had it on him. He was trying. And let's go up. So you can see there that I'm not actually aiming at my target when I use VATS either. I just press Q and even my gun doesn't, doesn't actually need to point at the thing. This is another one of those situations where I'm being shot at and I cannot see where from. So I need to kind of like patiently wait. Okay, so it turns out I think he's underneath me. Yep, is he? I don't know. Oh man, who knows, just leave him. Ah, oh, okay, we can go inside here, let's go. Okay, over encumbered, great. Uh, fantastic, very standard. Maybe if I drink a little bit, if that'll actually up my stats. Let's have a look, purified water. Nope, not enough. Mole rat chunks? No, that'll just make me sick. I want to eat something else. What's what's What can I eat that's clean? Pepper, lol? That gives me rads as well. Ugh. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, Australian jumping base. <laughs> Thanks very much for that, dude. For Marine, appreciate you. Uh, yeah, when you're over encumbered, you start to drain um, AP when you walk. So we're just going to have to drop something. I don't know what. We'll have to drop something. The hunting rifle I kind of need at this point. I'm not, not dropping that. I, yeah. Comp uh, compensated. Mm, 
I've got a lot of ammo for that, so that's actually quite useful. Um, can I drop anything else? Yeah, so much of the game is just spent going through your junk and just figuring out what you can drop. Because I'm one kilo over now from something or other. Uh, and I need to drop a kilo. IRL as well, lol. Okay, what can I drop? Burnt textbooks. Yeah, cool. Let's just drop those. They, they sound pretty rubbish. Can we drop them? I don't know what they're for, but whatever. We've dropped them. We're now, we're now over. What we're now, we're we're good. We're good. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Um, yeah, I don't even talk about, by the way, the lack of graphical options in the sense that there's there's just so many options you cannot tweak. Um, who did I watch yesterday? I think it was the Valve News Network. He's a YouTube channel, and he did a really good video, um, saying talking about lack of PC options. But the main one is like you know. Uh, hey, buddy, I don't know how to use my emote wheel, but like, hello. Uh, I, I, this is, so the way PvP works is that, I'll explain PvP now, actually, this is a good point. I can shoot him and it will do absolutely no damage. It'll do like maybe half a percentage point of damage. So if I shot him two or 300 times, okay, I might do something to him. At any point in time, he is then able to turn around after I've engaged PvP. Look at what he's wearing, by the way. He looks so sexy. He can turn around and immediately do full damage to me, okay? So what happens in PvP is that when someone shoots me, I immediately just take out a shotgun. I walk up to them and I shoot them in the face and I basically two-tap them at that point because I can do full damage to them. They can't do anything to me and that's how PvP works, right? That's that's the system. It's, it's kind of goofy, um, and I really think it's a bad way to implement it. I would have much rather they had PvE and PvP servers. Because if you made this game and it was like constant tension where you were walking around and at any point in time this person could be trying to kill you, you'd have to play really differently and there'd be this like real sense of tension and like, oh my god, whatever. That's not here right now. I don't care when I see someone else because unless they shoot me, I'm probably not going to shoot them because it's just too easy for them to turn around and kill me, okay? So, PvP, very, very, very problematic um, on that front. And I think it really hits the longevity of this title. Barbed Walking Cane mod. No, I don't want that. Um, I think it really hits the longevity of this game because I think if a game like this is going to be successful for the long term, it has to be built around interesting PvP engagements. And right now, they do not exist. You know, they just don't. It's too one-sided. It's too cheesy. It's too, it's too silly, you know? They've compromised too much on that front. Do people seriously expect that every Fallout, every Fallout 76 will be this kind of multiplayer? I don't know what you mean by that. Ripperino. Uh, you can still mark items that you need to collect, which is useful. Turbine Hall. I don't know that I need to use that yet. It would probably point me there if I needed to. Uh, what's the... I, I'm looking for... Hang on, are they doing repairs right now, are they? Okay. Let's have a look. Is this something I can repair? Contr repair, here we go. Great, repair one, done. Uh, make basic repairs to the generator. No, that's being done. Make basic repairs to the reactor system. So right now, it'd be really great if there was an icon. Oh, here we go, is this it? No. It'd be great if there was an icon pointing to what I needed to do. This is a public event that I'm in, by the way. This isn't even the main quest that I'm doing at this point. I just realized that then. In the top right-hand corner, and you can see that uh, that there is, you know, repairs repairs happening. Uh, and that it's a public event that's taking place. So what, what, what happens... I've done similar quests like this. And when the repairs are finished, then we need to, like, protect from waves of enemies. That's how it's worked in the past. So... Why am I not playing Red Dead? Uh, I am playing Red Dead. I'm just playing this while it's up because I plan to review this. So, I, you know, you have to put hours into a game if you're going to review it. And it, yeah, as much as I'm not enjoying it and I'm being totally upfront about that, I'm not enjoying this game. I do not think it is good. Uh, I think it's very important to play it properly before you issue a proper review of it, you know? I love how his head just dropped. <laughs> Did you guys see that? It kind of like, it kind of like just hovered up. It just cleanly disconnected from his head, hovered up a little bit and just gently fell down like a balloon it was beautiful so um if this game wasn't buggy as fuck would it be fun it's actually i mean it's buggy but it's not the bugs that hold this back from being fun it's just the core design of it 
that stops it from being fun um, and also just how ugly it looks like yeah it's it's really really ugly okay all three are being repaired what well, why is it moving so slowly though what, what are we doing wrong i don't understand what we need to do to speed this up yeah i don't i don't get this uh hey nathan how you doing buddy good to see you man nathan has that little icon next to him because he's a, he's one of the channel members so appreciate the support nathan thanks dude uh you absolutely hated the beta <laughs> i'm i'm with you man i am with you on that front unfortunately as much as i wish i wasn't i am i am with you um oh power armor rack Are we gonna get any power armor boom okay we've done the generator um, I can't, there's no power armor here now at the moment, so that's disappointing. Um, we've got a weapons bench here though. That's kind of cool and handy, I guess, but I don't really want to do anything now. I'm kind of in the middle. You can just see how bad this performance is. I wonder if I turn this light off if it increases performance. No, it's still ass, man. It's still ass. It's such a damn shame. Settle down, guys. We're friends. Calm your shit. Oh, I'm gonna have to reload. Great, he's just gonna go ham on me while I'm here. Got him. Uh, yeah, still don't know exactly what we're meant to be doing here. Like, I'm in the area. <laughs> I'm waiting for stuff to happen. We're at the we're at the stuff, but I just don't know what we're meant to be clicking on or doing. It's not actually explaining it. So, yeah. There's power armor in that room? I don't think so, man. I looked around. I didn't see any power armor. Unless I'm an idiot and I was just blind. Did you guys... It looks like PS3. Oh, yeah. There is power armor. Okay, cool. So if I could... Uh, I don't have the right skill to unlock this. If I had more un more uh, skill, I could get this power armor. But, yeah. I can't now. So, sad times. Unless, maybe. Let's have a look. Perks. Do I have another lockpick skill thing? Pick lock. I've got here i do not have another so i've got one level in lockpick if i had another card i could do it so that's the other thing about this the the leveling is actually based on rng because those pack cards have different stuff in them so that's also a bit of a challenge what the fuck are all those quests i know right there's a lot of quests man there's a lot of ui in this game um yeah i i, I don't know what we're doing here everyone's standing it's clear to me that everyone here no one here knows what we're meant to be doing. We're all standing around confused. Uh, it's possible this event has actually bugged out. I've had another um, public event that did bug out entirely. I've never done this one before. It's possible this one is bugged out as well. Can we open this door? Very nice. Anything in here? Anything good? Could I just jump through here? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. This is very common in this game as well, by the way. Very common that... Um, thanks, Maureen. Um very common that you get a locked door and then you unlock it only to go through and find out that you could have actually just gone around the other side and you don't even need to unlock it that's happened so many times that's about the sixth time that that's happened to me when i've been doing it it's like they randomly generate locked doors without thinking what they should put behind them it's fucking ridiculous um <laughs> Matt Man, you hit YouTube to get rid of those dislikes on my Fallout video. I know, right? I should so do that. I actually t tweeted at them, being like, hey guys, you're removing dislikes on the uh, Diablo video. How about you remove dislikes on my Fallout video? So, <laughs> um, Look at the signs on the walls and doors. Maybe they tell you where to go. Uh, maybe you're right. Okay, I'm, I'm, you're right. I haven't been looking that closely. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's bugged. I mean, where am I now? I'm totally lost at this point, eh? But you can see a lot of this architecture is lifted straight out of Fallout 4. Like, you will remember from the early parts of the game, you will have seen that. Um, uh, yes, so... Um, yeah. Corpse loading. Corpse loading, guys. This is also very common, where you just click on a corpse and it just loads. So, that's also... It's adorable. Good on your corpse. Working hard to appear for us. Eventually it doesn't load and I just walk away, disappointed. Corpse says no. 
Um. Well, we've tried to do some stuff here and um, hasn't really worked out for us. That's okay. We we gave it a good we gave it a good go. We repaired one thing. The other ones we don't know where they are or what or what to do. Unless there's something. Let's just let's just this is I'm pretty sure the panel, right? There's there's nothing I can do here. Nothing at all. Let's turn this radio on. Bit of background music. No man. Nothing. Nothing at all. So did they just take the assets from the previous game? Uh, did they just take the assets from the previous game and combine them? Yes, they did. That's exactly what they did. <laughs> You'll see very little here. That's that's new stuff, you know. Um, okay, this is super boring. Uh, you guys are going to be getting real tired of this. Let's get out of here. I don't even know where this leads to. Maybe it leads out of here. Let's have a look. Um, we haven't gone down here before, so let's check it out. Can I just get up here, please? Can I? Can we just wait? What? Come on, man. It's a really small ledge. Like, I really believe that you are capable as a wasteland wanderer to get up that fucking ledge. I really believe it's possible. All right. We're not going that way, apparently. It's just, it's not possible. My marsupial buff is gone. The one time I needed my kangaroo buff, it's not there. <sighs> uh, are there features of Fallout 76 that you like? Uh, look, it's a really good question, and I'm going to sound really obnoxious when I say this, but the honest answer is no, because I think that anything that's good here is better in Fallout 4. I think that um, they've taken some of the elements of Fallout 4 and then ripped the soul, like the heart and soul out of that experience, and they haven't replaced it with anything good, you know, like the open world survival aspect is... I don't think it's interesting enough for me personally. I think the way they've deli they're delivering lore and narrative is really bad and really boring. I think the PvP is basically non-existent because it's so compromised. Um, there's actually no part of this game that I would point to and say, yeah, they did a really good job with that. There's, there's none. There's not a single part. Um, it honestly just feels like a really crappy, watered-down version of Fallout 4. Um, and but, but really missing that soul, so... Thanks, Noel. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, so, so I know that sounds really savage. And, and if you guys follow me, you know that I'm not like that savage YouTuber that just hates on everything and just like whatever. I'm not that guy. You know, I'm that's that's not me at all. Uh, I'm the guy that like tries to appreciate things. And I'm like, you know, No Man's Sky. I didn't personally like it, but here's you know ten reasons why it's actually pretty cool. And here's the things that I liked. I'm I try and do that. You know. But there's honestly nothing I can point to in this game and say, yeah, man, they nailed that, you know, um, which which is disappointing. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here now. I was, I'm just talking and walking in circles and figuring it out. So uh, can I turn off the Pip-Boy light? Sure, man, I can do that. Good question. Good question. It just becomes really dark then. That's the problem. So it's kind of handy to have it on when I'm inside. Uh, can I get out this way? Um, the Mothman is cool. The Mothman is the coolest part of this game. He is... This little dude that just appears and he's creepy and as soon as you get close to him, he flies away. He's mysterious and interesting. He's the best part of Fallout 76, but he's only interesting because you can't get close to him and understand him. <laughs> I'm sure that when we actually get up close to him, he'll be less interesting. But for now, he's kind of cool because of the mystery. That's that's it. Where is Where did you go? Oh, you're up there. I think there's another one shooting at me. There it is. Positional audio is just so messed up in this game. Pip-Boy Light. Yeah, I know it's not very good. Uh, we're still trying to find a way out of here, lol. Uh, here we go. Let's kill this guy. Bro, you're really, you're really trolling me right there. Come on now. Why am I getting so much radiation poisoning? Why is this so bad? Oh, have I got a mutation again? I think I do. I hope it's not a bad one. Man, I'm getting destroyed by radiation here. Fuck. I guess, are we like near the reactor or something? I'm gonna die here. How do I get out of here? Which is the out way? This way? Oh, God damn, man. Still, I'm being hurt. Okay. 
Main entrance, lobby, plant office. Well, we can't go that way anymore because we will literally die. And I need to use all my rad away now. Do I even have any left? I do. I have rad X, rad away, diluted. I actually don't know how to get rid of my um, rad away without... Like, without this, I'm just really confused what I'm going to do. So, the muffin man! Uh, rad resist for 10 minutes increases thirst yeah I could do that I guess good question good point um, but I don't want to really want to go back in there okay all that's gone good and then we can use stim packs to heal up cool we're fully healed we also need to drink again uh, aid, and we go to water, purified water, there we go, we've drunk, we're good, and we should eat, we can eat some mole chunks, yummy, and healing salve, okay, I'll take, no, I don't need that actually, I'm already at full health, um, canned dog food, yummo, good, all right, we've tried to do stuff here. It's failed, um, so let's just leave. Let's have a look at our inventory. Uh, data, main quest, an ounce of prevention is what I need to collect. I need to do blood sample from mole rat, feral ghoul, and a wolf. And let's go outside and, and figure out how to do that, shall we? Let's figure out this how to get out of here. The inventory is, yeah, very, very clunky. It is, uh, it is unfortunately. Still Fallout 4. Update. It hasn't been updated. Exit. Come on, man. There's an exit right here. Let me out. I can't use that door, so that's great. Um, how did I get into here? Does anyone remember? I feel like I'm the only one still in this building now. Everyone else seems to have left. They're like, dude... There's nothing in here, man. Get the fuck out. Okay, now what? The basic repairs to the cooling system, it's like working now. It's It's gone up. We've got 30 minutes to do that. I don't know what's going on. Um, Protectron, can I turn you on? Not that way, boys. Everyone settle down. Settle down. Um... Okay, well, we did something, I guess. Not sure how, but we did something. Oh man, I can't figure out how to get out of here. It should not be this hard to leave a room, a building. There's a door, man. Okay, wait, I feel like this is where we started. Hmm, why is that one... Are these repaired? Optional, fully repair the cooling system. No, okay. All right. Is it worth getting Ark Slinger? Uh, dude, in my opinion, I, I don't believe so. Uh, some people think it's great. Um, I think most people are of a view that it is not great. I certainly believe that this is not a great title at this point, and I would not recommend it to anyone unless they are. Um, a real diehard Fallout fan, and they really love the world and lore of, of uh, Fallout, and they don't really mind that the great the game isn't itself that good. They just kind of want more Fallout adventure. Uh, unless you're that player, I would steer clear of this game. I can't even figure out how to get out of here. Wait, why am I getting radiation poisoning? Am I going? Here we go. Wait, did I go this way? I think this looks familiar. This looks familiar. Hey, mate. See, look, he's just standing there. And I'll give you an idea, look, because maybe he'll shoot me, maybe he won't, whatever. We're just, we're having fun. I'll show you what happens when you try and initiate PvP in this game, okay? So he's standing there, and I'm shooting him, and then I do... Wait, is he, is he lagged? He's not even there, is he? Okay, so what I should see happen is I should see little bits of his health go down from a little, his nameplate. Okay, this person, right? She's... I can shoot her, and I do no damage. See? Nothing. So just stands there and ignores me. And that's it. And unless she shoots me back, I'm not going to get any damage on them. So that's how PvP works. And she's not shooting me because she obviously doesn't want to start any trouble. So yeah. Anyway, that's that's PvP in 76. It's only 
It's only on if it's on. It takes two to tango, so to speak. And that's how it goes. So, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. The stream continues. Can we expect a Red Dead review soon? Yeah, man. I'm working through Red Dead. I'm about 35% of the way through Red Dead now. I've really taken my time with it because it's just so... It's just so exceptional. I didn't want to rush it, you know? So I'm really just like soaking up the world. I've, I'm recording every second of footage. Red Dead's a frustrating game to review because you have to put every second of it on your hard drive because at any moment, something completely insane or amazing or beautiful can happen. And then you're like, fuck, I really wish I was recording that. Like that happened a few times at the beginning. So after that, I was like, all right, that's it. I'm going to record every hour of this gameplay, every minute. And uh, that's what I've been doing ever since. So, yes, it'll be a pretty chunky review, I'm sure. But I'm very looking forward to putting it all together because I've definitely got some stuff to say about that game. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Okay. We are trying now to continue on the main quest. We need to go here, collect a blood sample from a mole rat, which is over in this direction. Um, we walk straight towards the circle, I guess. Let's, let's do that. This game looks very boring. Spoiler alert, it's not how it looks. It's how it is. It's boring. It's very boring. So, yeah, if you had PvP and PvE servers in this, it would be a vastly better game immediately. But, as soon as they describe this system of like, you know, player in players needing to agree to PvP, I immediately knew it would be bad. Like, I just immediately knew that this would not work because it's just too compromised. So, yeah. What are you doing? Look at this guy. No problem shooting him. Can I shoot him through there? He can shoot me through there. Can I shoot him? He's just leaving now. Okay. Let's go. Am I getting the Black Armory expansion? Yeah, dude, of course. I uh, spent a lot, a lot of time not enjoying uh, Destiny. And then Destiny Forsaken, man. Fixed it. It did fix it, so... Yeah, I'll definitely be checking that out. That'll be this year, won't it? It'll be like in December or something, I think. Oh, there's a turret. Get away. Got him! <laughs> Literally Half-Life 2 had better graphics. <laughs> I mean, someone said that in the stream the other day, and I'm like, dude, that's disrespectful to Half-Life 2. Don't be mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's an unfair comparison to say that, though. I really don't. <laughs> Which in itself is a huge indictment. But certainly we, I remember uh, Half-Life 2 looking better than this. Maybe it's just the way that we'd remember like Ocarina of Time as being stunning. And then you go back and play and you're like, oh, yeah, that's how it looks. It doesn't look as good. But like, <laughs> I really do feel like Half-Life is a contender for, uh, you know, how this looks. So... <laughs> so brutal but it's just unfortunately it's true anyway let's go find a mole rat we need a mole rat for something uh there is a mole rat let's go get him let's go get him wait there's lots of mole rats i guess they're all coming at me got him did i get him no he disappeared he just i think he just teleported over there and you could see my um mole rat meat Collect blood sample. Got him. All right. Well, that's one done. Great work, team. Great work. Any thoughts and hopes about Red Dead Online? I don't know, man. I mean, if I could just play Red Dead the campaign, but do it with someone else in my posse, how cool would that be, man? How cool would it be to be a fucking cowboy in that world and like, oh, man, it'd be so good. I would love that. So we'll see. I don't know. Other than that, I've no idea what they're going to do. You can buy properties in it, apparently, which I heard. I'm sure it's going to be bad for microtransactions, guys. Let's let's be real. I'm sure that, you know, Take-Two are going to do what Take-Two do. <laughs> and uh, they're going to make a lot of money from microtransactions in that game. So I don't really hold high hopes for it because I'm pretty sure it'll be so microtransactions out the wazoo that like I don't even want to play it. But if I can just have some fun riding around with some friends, being a cowboy for a few hours, then I'm okay with that. That's that's fine. So 
I did that water park quest line, Henry. Are you talking about the one with that French robot and you need to go and like find the missing kid and stuff? Because I did that and I didn't love that quest either. I thought that that was really boring, but yeah. I, I, I haven't enjoyed any quests in this game. So maybe I'm, I'm clearly not the target audience for this, that kind of questing experience. Um, okay, let's try and get unstuck. Scalpel. Okay, we're trying to head to Feral Ghoul Blood Sample. Let's go. Mm. Last time I tried to do this, there were no Feral Ghouls spawning. I was there for about 15 minutes. And that's what happened. So, yeah. Doesn't streaming on YouTube break some kind of Twitch terms of service? Maybe it does. I don't know, actually. So, if I lose my Twitch partnership over this stream, guys, I hope it's been worth it. It's been fun. Uh, I mean, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, that frame rate. Did you guys just see that? Oh, God. That's what I'm talking about. This is running on high graphics on a 1080 Ti. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. I don't even dot dot dot. Um, let me just... I just need to send a message to someone to uh, about something very quickly, guys, because I'm actually in my office right now and my aircon has not... Uh, turned on this morning and I'm dying in here like it's just killing me so um, hey mate is aircon broken or something um, oh my God, go away oh you're right there okay of course you are great thanks uh, <laughs> uh, thanks Jamie editing one file yeah uh, hasn't turned on today. Yes, there is there is a situation right now where you can uh, basically enable a speed hack in this game by editing a file in the back end. The way it works with this engine is that your game speed is tied to frame rate. So if you uncap the frame rate or put it up to something, then you can actually go twice as fast in game. And the whole game actually runs twice as fast, which is utterly ridiculous. Uh, Bethesda have promised a fix for it by release date, but the fact that it made it in at all is kind of interesting. Uh, I watched this at 1440p. At 144p and it looks better. Oh, that's so brutal. But yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. That's, uh, that's a good theme. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at this. It's so good. <laughs> Wait, let's have a look at it. Let's just get close. <laughs> oh god, this game. Like, what do you say? <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. I love it. All right, let's keep going. We gotta still find something. We gotta find a feral ghoul. Let's keep going. Um, is PvP a good ask Toxic Comic? No, dude, PvP is not good. PvP is really, really bad. It's clunky, it's uh, cheesy, it's only if both parties agree. Um, uh, Anarchist remark for FYI, Fallout super fans like pretty obsessed ever, ever since Fallout 1. Also mad because this game obliterates the existing canon of Bethesda, not care, love your accent. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing about this, the, um, the law. They've retconned just a huge chunk of lore to make this game happen and to squeeze all of their like reused assets into it. So Fallout fans are legitimately really pissed off that the way they've handled lore in this game. So I'm annoyed as a as a casual Fallout fan because I'm like, you're not really bothering to give me a good story that's delivered well. It's all about holotapes and stuff. And hardcore Fallout fans are pissed off because they're like, well, the story that is that is there is actually wrong, you know? So like... I mean, on that front, it's just... I don't know. I, I think it's always so dumb when companies mess with their lore because obviously there are fans that are so invested in that. Like, why would you disrespect that part of the community? Oh, this frame rate, fuck. Why would you disrespect that part of the community that cares that much about that? You know, it's just... Just stick within the confines of what you've got, you know? Anyway, feral ghoul is what we're hunting for. Oh, wait, no, what do we need here? This is a wolf. Oh, no, this is a, a feral ghoul. And the wolves are down there. Okay, let's try and find... Oh, shit, here we go. Found him. That was fast. They were just they knew I was looking for them. Like, hey man, what's up? I hear you I hear you need some of our blood. Thanks, man. Thanks. 
Got the blood. We did it. We did it. So last time I came here, I waited for 15 minutes and nothing ever spawned. Oh, there's a super mutant down here somewhere. Where'd he go? There he is over there. Do you want to go kill him? Let's go kill super mutant. This game, this game sucks in all caps. Pretty sure he's clear on what he thinks about this game. This is the combat, by the way. This is essentially how it works. This is peak. Oh, God. Okay. Walk side to side while reloading. Aim, fire. Do the same thing. And that's it. Boom. Whereabouts in Sydney do I live? I live I live in, uh, in Australia. I live in Sydney, man. I live... Uh, in Sydney. Grew up in Bondi. Do I want any of this? I don't want any of that. Get some weapons over here. Yeah, the other thing is as well, I mean, I'm like level 16 and I'm still using the same weapons that I've been using since level 1. I've not found any plans or anything that enable me to make a better weapon. I did get one really good weapon drop, which is that automatic weapon, but it uses so much ammo so quickly and I can find so little ammo that it's really, you know, it's almost no point to having it, to be honest. And barely ever, I've used it twice, I think, the whole time I've been playing, so it's kind of disappointing as well. Um... Right, we need now to... Oh, I'll show you this, actually. Let me let me show you something. This is interesting. Uh, this is a bolt-action rifle. That's what I'm using. Okay, cool. So, I have 37 rounds with this. I might use this for a second. And I'm going to just heal up somehow. What have I got that I can use to heal? Stim packs? Diluted. Fine, whatever. We can use two of those. Um... It's going to be 30 degrees. I know, man. I really wish my aircon was working. I'm fucking dying here, man. I'm dying. And the guy, my office manager, is not he's not returning the message. He's just like, piss off, dude. You play video games for a living. Stop fucking complaining. <laughs> he doesn't say that. But he, maybe he thinks that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just, I'm just rolling with it. All right, let's go. Let's. Uh, this is a thing here that I encountered. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the thing. Okay. That I encountered last time. Okay. Now, the way I killed him last time was exactly the way I'm killing him now, okay? Which is, I basically just bugged him out really easily. You can see how little effort it took for me to do this. I, 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 he bugs out on terrain so easily. It's exactly the same way as last time, where he cannot handle simple ledges. And then I just stand here and uh, shoot him. That's it. I did the same thing with another boss, a different boss earlier, who just basically couldn't handle a ledge so i pulled him over to a ledge and then i just wound it out now the music's playing here because this is like some epic encounter or whatever but i'm just cheesing my way through it and as i said this is not a random bug i did exactly the same thing last time i played against this very enemy because i used the ledge over there instead of the ledge here that's it you know so uh that's that's how that works for those big enemy encounters uh, I just got a Twitch subscriber. Subscriber, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, thanks very much, so Subifus. He actually subscribed to me on Twitch while I'm not even streaming, so that's dedication right there. Thanks, dude. Um, but yes, ledge too powerful. <laughs> Le the technology isn't there to get enemy AI to navigate ledges, guys. Don't be unfair to Bethesda, please. Don't be so fucking mean, right? Do you have any idea how complicated it is to get an enemy to walk over or around a ledge? I mean, this is why people are just, they're the worst, man. They just, they're so hard on game developers. They really are because that technology right there, it's many years in the future. Many years, many years. All right. We are now looking for, follow the overseer's journey. There's something over here, I guess. Let's, let's do that. Let's check that out. This is the main quest line kind of thing, I guess. Following the overseer. Um, Am I picking up Battlefield 5? Yeah, I'll pick up Battlefield 5. Um, I'm not super psyched for it, but I am getting a uh, RTX 1080 Ti and I want to test the ray tracing. And I think that's one game where I'm able to do it. So I'm kind of getting it for the, the RTX more than anything else, but yes. So what Fallout 4 mod is this? Good question, dude. It's a very good question. Uh, 
Rage 2 will likely be great. You know, I played Rage 2 at, at, um, oh, we have another subscriber. What is this? What's going on here? How are all these people subscribing to me on Twitch when I'm not even live on Twitch? It's so weird. <laughs> Thanks very much, person who subscribed to me on Twitch. Um, what were we saying? Rage 2. I played Rage 2 at E3. It's actually fucking awesome, you know, and, uh, I feel bad because Bethesda, the publisher, has the same name as Bethesda Game Studios. And I feel like a lot of people are going to think, oh, Bethesda made a shit game with Fallout. And they're going to think, well, Bethesda are making Rage, right? So therefore it's going to be shit. And it's like, no, that's not how it works. Um, Rage 2 was awesome. I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. You know, I really, really enjoyed it. So um, I'm looking forward to that a lot. And Doom Eternal, man. Doom Eternal is going to be sick. Michael, Mikhail, Mikhail, dude, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hello and thank you for stopping by the stream. Hello from Australia. I know we have, uh, I have a few Poles that watch me, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, I have CD Projekt Red. I have um, two CD Projekt Red developers are actually my patrons and I speak to them all the time. They're really cool guys. <laughs> so I love the Poles, man. They're, they're cool people. They're very cool people. Oh, RTX 2080 Ti. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm getting the, the new RTX thing. I'm getting that. So, yeah. Anything improved? Okay, here's another thing I will say as well, which is really mind-blowing, all right? Um, my FPS is better when I'm indoors. Yes, that's true. What they've done throughout this entire beta is not release a single patch. They have not updated this client once throughout the entire beta, okay? So what that means is that instead of being able to make fixes, deploy them onto the test server test them during the beta and then continue to iterate on them it means that they're just like working on everything all at once and they're going to drop one patch at the end on release day and there's going to be no testing of that like that to me is the worst sign in this whole thing because really you know like you should with a game this broken you should be doing iterative updates to this game throughout the beta cycle that's not happening and so what will come out on release date is just what will come out you know I don't know, man. It's not how I would have played it. Not at all. So, yeah. Would have much rather see patches released showing iterative progress. That would have given me a lot more confidence that the final product is going to be in good, good, in a good state. But that's not happening here. So, yeah. Anyway, we're trying to follow the overseer's journey and we can't quite find where to go. Is this a building here? Let's have a look. A um, lot of card have been dying. I know I did hear that, Nathan. I did hear that. Um... I gotta be careful about that. Yeah. Greetings from Sweden. Thanks very much, dude. Appreciate that. Silent solid. This game is more broken than the Greek economy. Uh, are you planning on playing Delta Rune? Dude, I don't even know what Delta Rune is. Is tell me about it, man. I'm sorry if I missed the chat, but there's a lot coming at me in chat, but I don't know what it is. I'll look it up. Do you like four? I enjoyed four. That's the thing as well. I enjoyed three. I enjoyed um, New Vegas. I enjoyed four. Even though four gets a bum rap, it gets like, oh, everyone's like, oh, it's just a shit Fallout game. It's so crap, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's not crap. It's just, it's not like the best Fallout game, but it's not a bad game by any, oh God, look at all this. Where are they going? Why are they leaving? Oh, you were right on top of me, man. You could have, you could have killed me, but you're just leaving now. Why are you leaving? Where's everybody going? What's happening now? Why are you coming back to me now? Do we have another subscriber? What's going on? I don't understand. All these people. Thanks for subscribing, I guess. Are people going over to my Twitch to subscribe on my Twitch or something? Um, checkpoint B button. What is this? Um, what were we talking about before? I forget now. Do I like Fallout? Yeah, Fallout. That's right. Fallout 4 was fine. It was a good game in many regards. I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, the dialogue options weren't as good. The RPG wasn't as deep. But I still think it was enjoyable. You know? This is nothing like that, man. This is this is a whole next level of disappointment you know there's nothing like that so yeah let's be honest none of the producers or dares wanted to announce double over mortal yeah i really feel like i uh, got a very it's pretty rough for for those guys with double over mortal the layman are uh we are putting out a video on double over mortal today we just recorded it today with thick boy if anyone watches layman gaming go check it out if you, if you don't watch layman game go check it out um it's my news clickbait channel uh, hey, the DMV! We were just making jokes about the DMV, and now here we are. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? That's that's progress right there. Um, but yeah, we're doing a video on it. Uh, just talking about how... Basically, some of the dislikes on that video, on the trailer, is getting removed. And it's kind of like, how's that happening? You know, it's very, very dodgy. Anyway, 
a lot of the story of Fallout 76 is delivered through audio logs. When I say a lot, I mean about 90%. I'm going to give you a taste here of what those audio logs look like. So here, listen up. That's it. That's what happens. Uh, and, you know, that's how you get your story in this game, through those voiceover things. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't, don't, don't personally find it particularly engaging. Some people are really loving it. Like, I know someone mentioned Oxum. Uh, Oxum, I'm sorry, he's a big, you know, Bethesda YouTuber and stuff. He's loving it. Cool. Uh, you know, he's that kind of guy that really soaks himself into the lore. And I can totally understand why someone like that would love it. But myself, not being particularly invested in the Fallout lore, uh, it's hard for me to really pay attention to those logs. And sometimes those logs go forever. Forever. And they're really quite rough. Anyway, um, we've got a. F we've just. We're here now at the DMV, <laughs> funnily enough. I don't know what else there is to do here. Um, it doesn't look like there's really anything to do here at all. <sighs> yeah, let's just leave, I guess? Question mark. I just found this channel via Gundam. Gundam. What did Gundam say? It's Gundam. I think Gundam. What did Gundam say? I don't know. I think I've heard of Gundam before. Um. Was he saying my video was bad? I feel like every Fallout, every Bethesda YouTuber is just <laughs> saying that I'm the worst. There's this thread actually on the Fallout 76 subreddit, which is basically like, skill up is the devil, he's the worst. It's like just post after post of just saying that I'm the worst. I'm like total sellout. I'm fucking clickbaity piece of trash. And like, just, it's so hilarious. I, I, was, I read through it and I was like laughing because I was just so hilarious so go check that out if you want a good laugh fallout 76 subreddit not the fallout subreddit fallout subreddit actually really dislikes this game the fallout 76 subreddit really loves this game they think it's the best thing since last bread so um he posted your rant about fallout 76 in one of his videos oh, okay was he saying that i was on point or was he saying that i was wrong because i'm interested to uh to hear what the fallout community is saying oh god help Help us, help us. Boom. Oh. Reload. That reload time is so good. I love it. Okay. We can we can heal up again, I guess. Um, he agrees most. Okay, right, fair enough. There's also a review from a guy called uh, The Lazy... Is it The Lazy Peon I watched recently? Um, yeah. Uh, if you haven't checked out... I think it's The Lazy Peon. It was a really good video. He did like a 20 minute review kind of thing where he played, showed lots of gameplay clips with him doing commentary over the top and then he did a review at the end. And, um, you know, it was really, really good. I really recommend checking it out um, because he would just, I think he gave a very objective breakdown of what the whole game was like. So, so yeah. Um, all right, we need to heal up again. Let's figure out how to do that. I need to drink some water as well. So let's go item, we go aid. We go uh, purified water. That's our water taken care of. We need to eat. I'm running a bit low on stuff. Okay, that's fine. That's enough for now. We're okay. Uh, is it Lazy Peon is pretty good. Literally just watched it. Yeah, cool. He does MMOs, right? Yeah, cool. So I'd never watched any of his stuff before, but I liked his style. He was really, uh, really chilled out and straight, sort of down to earth, and I liked it. I like what he was doing. So. Go check out the Lazy Peon if you haven't, guys, because I think it was a it was a good video. He he kind of does a summary at the end as well. You can kind of skip to the end if you like if you want to see his points. Um, but I think his points are also very similar to to my own as well. So, okay, what are we doing next? We've now got to follow the overseer's journey, collect a blood sample from a wolf. Let's go and do that. Let's go and find out a wolf. We'll go find a wolf. So we need, so basically one of the meta stories that's taking place over the top of all of this is uh, that, you know, 
there's some kind of there's a mutation taking place as a result of the bombs falling and they're trying to find some sort of cure or serum to stop that muta uh, the mutation um, I'm on the search for that for clues around that right so that's what the quest that I'm currently on now is to try and find the you know the, 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 the hints or the clues for the, for the serum that's it so that's why I've got to find blood samples so I can do tests on them and shit that's, that's how it works um, his points line up with a lot of pain points. How would you rate the game if there were no bugs or glitches? I'd still rate this a maybe a uh, like a five out of ten. I don't really give numerical scores, but I feel like this is a five out of ten. I feel like this is a no. I, that's a lie. I feel like this is a four out of ten. This is a playable game, but it's a very very substandard product. Uh, and I really feel like if it goes out like this with this many bugs and issues, it will be a real low point for AAA gaming because it will be the moment when like bethesda just totally took the piss and they're like yeah we know the meme we know we have heaps of bugs how far can we push that meme how much will you put up with how little innovation like how, how much asset reuse you know how many bugs how badly optimized how few pc options all of those things like how much can we push your patience and i feel like from a studio as large and as well resourced as bethesda game studios if this game goes out anything close to what it's like now as i'm playing it then it will be an absolute low point for AAA gaming for the year one of, and, and a, one of the lowest points that i've ever seen of just companies just taking the piss you know so i don't know and i say that as a massive fan of fallout and skyrim i love bethesda game studios i love their games morrowind was one of the games that made me who i am today i would not be sitting here in this fucking chair talking to you people you know streaming this shit were it not for morrowind because that game changed my life you know i'm so down for this formula i am so down for the fallout and elder scrolls formula it's not even funny you know and 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 todd gets a lot of shit and whatever else I love Todd. I think he's cool. I think he's done some great things and contributed massively to this medium. I'm a massive fan of Todd, okay? Even though he said a few porkies in his time, I'm sure we all have. We can all look back on the things that we've said. Maybe we said the wrong thing. Maybe we took it out of context. Maybe we told a little white lie. I don't think Todd is the devil. I think he's cool. And I think the work that he's done over, you know, decades is very important work. But I think this is garbage. I think this is garbage. So... Okay, that's enough ranting. Let's keep going. Let's try and find a wolf. That's what we're hunting now. This game looks like doo doo. <laughs> um, that's pretty disingenuous to think bugs. Bethesda intentionally put bugs in their game to piss off their player base. No, I, I never said they intentionally put bugs in there. I'm saying that they didn't bother to remove the bugs. It's a very different thing, man. <laughs> I wouldn't. Why would any? Why would any developer? want to intentionally put bugs in their game that's not what i was suggesting i was suggesting the idea that they didn't apply the appropriate qa and like you know proud pride in their work that they would remove the bugs from the game when they occurred so uh yeah that's 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 my belief anyway we're still looking for a wolf come on man where's a wolf show me is this the culling too <laughs> uh yeah oh here we go Vicious wolf. Why is he so black? He's so dark. Do they actually have textures on them? I can't see. They do have textures, yep. Just really dark. Can I try and um, turn the light on? Let's have a look. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> There's another one? There is another one. Got him! Wait, is there more? There's more. Get out of your menu! done all right where's the cops give us some blood give me some blood all right i don't really care about i kind of want the wolf meat though like i can't even see their corpses where do they go i mean they're all around here right where are they now okay <laughs> That one has some bullets in it. This, this wolf is carrying bullets. Good on him, man. He, he always travels prepared. He always travels prepared. Um, raw wolf meat. Yep. Because you can actually cook the wolf meat and it becomes quite useful to you. Hunting animals is actually an important part of this game. Uh, having plenty of food on hand is, is really critical. So, yeah. 
All right. Um, that's that's that. We've done the we've we've got the stuff. We've got the blood, and now we need to go back to this place here. I can fast travel for four caps. Sounds like a bargain. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, whoa! Event Horizon just pledged twenty five dollars via Patreon. No way! Holy shit! <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Wow. Someone just I just got a notification then saying that Event Horizon just pledged twenty five bucks, which is an extremely generous Patreon pledge. So thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate that a lot. I don't know if you're in this chat right now. I'm suspecting you are. But if you are, then thank you. Uh, I really do appreciate that a lot. So, um, uh, yes, Reese. It's normally pretty good seeing both sides of any given game. But in this case, I feel like he's so irked about PvP NPC bugs that he's missing what the fans will find engaging. Maybe you're right, Reese. Maybe you're right, dude. Um, you know, uh, I, you, you could absolutely be correct. Um, maybe I just can't find the the things to cling to I, I'm just not sure what the fans will really find engaging if, if they like the hollow tapes cool if they like just the process of exploring the fallout world and going through ruins like this cool um I would make the simple point that I think you can get all of this in a better form in fallout 4 you know um so yes thanks very much Jamie two bucks this is the dz every build will get griefed <laughs> it's not quite the dz because people have to decide if they want a pvp uh, to do it so but look i will make the point as well and i've said this many times with regards to my coverage of fallout 76 okay don't just trust me okay i don't like this thing and i i don't like it a lot go and find some people that love this thing go and watch their streams go and watch their youtube videos talk to them whatever find out what they love about this and then see if that thing is for you you know because um the perspective you're getting from me is very one-sided so please go and see some other perspectives you know find out where the magic is because i'm not seeing the magic um and and other people are seeing it i don't see it so so do take that time to get those different perspectives okay what are we doing here we're going back inside and we're going to do some testing on something or other uh would this game be better with prime sign up yes they would absolutely be better with that so um holotapes are a good supplement to the quest building the world not the only means of narrative uh i'm not sure what you mean go away We're just we're just walking in circles waiting to oh god has he got a shotgun no he doesn't okay Ching! cool uh event horizon games they oh wait that's event horizon games ah oh, event horizon okay i didn't know because i saw that patreon pledge and uh, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Thanks very much. And then Event Horizon Games, um, if you guys don't know, um, they made this really, really amazing uh, CRPG called Tower of Time, which really flew under the radar. Uh, but if you're a fan of CRPG games, especially the combat aspects of them, like the strategy part, then uh, please go check it out. I've done a video on it. The thumbnail is called um, like, uh, Overlooked and Underrated. The game is really first class. Uh, I really, really strongly recommend checking out um, Tower of Time on Steam. It's nice and cheap as well because they're like a little indie studio. Um, and yeah, so thanks very much, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for that very generous donation. That's awesome. Um, Keep in mind that betas are supposed to be unpolished compared to their final product. Bethesda and other games can use open betas for multiplayer games to test issues and fix them. I agree with you. Um, I don't know how to say your name, dude. Um, but I would politely reply that this game comes out in nine days. And the sheer volume of bugs that I have observed in this game. The terrible optimization. Uh, and also just the straight, the design decisions inherent in this game. That will absolutely not change before release all of these things will not be fixed in nine days there's just no way some of this stuff still exists in fallout 4 some of these problems you know so i think it's i think it's wrong to look at this beta as a beta i really look at it more as a demo and as an infrastructure test they're making sure their infrastructure can handle everyone being online without their servers crashing um, I do not look at it as, hey, we're going to make sure the game runs beautifully and it's all these things are fixed and blah, blah, blah. A lot of people are of a view that this is a, a beta in that sense and that they'll fix all these problems. 
I'm very sorry to say that I think you are quite mistaken. And there is literally about a decade's worth of evidence to suggest that that is the case, man. Like ever since betas have been a thing, this close to launch, they can't magically click their fingers and fix this number of problems, man. So, yeah. Um, 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 wasn't this confirmed to be a real beta? I mean, yeah, they confirmed it to be a real beta, but like, they're not magicians, man. Bethesda aren't going to magically fix all these issues. Just because they say, hey guys, the game's really buggy, doesn't mean they're going to fix all those bugs by launch date. So I think Bethesda have been very cheeky with this, man. And look, anyway, either way, this whole conversation gets sorted in nine days. If this game comes out in flawless technical standing, um, I will absolutely come out and say, guys, they've done it. I'm so wrong about that. Here's all the PC settings. Here's it running beautifully at max settings on this machine. Um, I totally will eat crow on that and be like, I am 100% wrong. I was 100% wrong. And I will apologize to Bethesda. Like I will say, I'm sorry about my commentary. I thought it was unfair. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong about something, none whatsoever. Um, on the technical aspects, I will 100% agree, uh, do that. And I hope that I have to do that. I hope this game comes out in a beautiful state that runs magnificently. I just believe that it is a bit too close to the mark for that at this point. And I do believe that this is going to be a bit of a disaster when it launches. So please clip that. Trust me. I will, as I said, I will do that. Um, more than happy to do that if, uh, if that happens. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm still trying to do something in here and I don't know what because I was sent in here to load the blood samples into the centrifuge and I don't know where the centrifuge is, so. Um, do you know about YouTube? Skill up YouTube ripping you off? What? Um, okay, what's going on? Yeah, I agree with Harsh Storm. I think when when Bungie when the when a company te does a beta like this, I really think it's just to test server capacity, not to test how broken your game is at any point in time. You know. So, um, I'm still looking for this centrifuge, which should be around here somewhere. Uh, don't know where. Wait, hang on. Here's a marker here. This leads to outside. That's not where I want to go. It's definitely in here somewhere. Oh, wait, I had to go down here last time I was here. Maybe it's down here somewhere. Here we go. Yes, there's a marker there. Oh, God. Cockroach, right? Yep, got it. Got him! Can I get through here? Nope, I need the thing. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Toolbox empty. I need to figure out a way to get down. There we go. Got it. Got it. Just cancel my pre-order. Ooh, man, that's, that's rough. Yeah, I have had a lot of people say that to me though on comments on my video, so yeah. Um, blood removed, blah, 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 done. And now this is, uh, we go now to the machine uh, where we click on the thing and we read, the, we read the green text. That happens. It's a very important part of the gameplay loop, the green text. So let's do that. And sorry, I'm just checking on my chat. Um, overview don't want to read all that nope i clicked on it again by mistake uh, um, 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 analyze blood samples got it okay so now you can see on the right hand side of my screen an ounce of prevention collect t type fuse somewhere i need something else uh analysis complete data forwarded to blah symptomatic configuration completed ready for inoculation so so what's happened here now wait oh desk fan give me that yes it has aluminium in it so i need oh. Okay, let's drop something. Uh, what can I drop? What can I drop? Burnt books again? Didn't I drop you guys before? How have I picked up so many more burnt books? What's going on? Done. So. What's happened now is... Uh, you can see that my quest is updated. And I now need to collect a T-type fuse. Uh, which is somewhere. Here we go. I've got to go back up here. So I can fast travel to this location and do that. So that's what we'll do. Um, there's a channel called Skill Up using my logo too. Really? No way. Really? That sounds weird. Uh, pay 21 caps. Yes, it will. Personal gripes with the game is that it's how VATS works. The multiplayer with all the vault doors being out and it's about immersion breaking. I saw a guy in a tux top hat with max weight goofing off. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's 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 gonna happen. You're gonna see lots of meme-worthy shit in this game. Uh, 
you know, because it's a multiplayer game. And the cosmetics are all ridiculous. You'll see people with giant Uncle Sam pit boy heads, all that sort of shit running around, you know? Hmm. Um, yes, and there will not be mods for another year. That's another good point. Uh, Bethesda have specifically said that mods won't come for at least a year. Um, but I'm really skeptical of that as well, because this game, I reckon this game is going to be so broken that they're going to need to spend so much time just getting it working. Forget about getting mods happening. You know, I, oh my God, there's so much shit here. Fuck. Help, help. Oh my God, he just destroyed me. Oh my God, I'm about to die. Okay, wait, wait, no, don't kill me. Phew. Thanks, Deckard. Appreciate you, man. Wait, is there another one? Phew. Can I... Do I have any stim packs? No, I don't have any stim packs left. Uh, what can I use to heal? Aid. I need... Stim pack something or other. Here we go, stim pack. Yes. Good. Um, but... Yeah, what was I saying? I forget now. I forget now. Um, oh, man. Anyway. It was, yeah, it was a good point, right? It was probably a good point. Probably not. Anyway, let's just keep moving. Let's keep going. Now, I need to find... What's underground here? How do I get underground? Go in here. Oh, my God. The frames. The frames. They're dying. They're dying. Oh, that's right. One year for mods. Yes, of course. Yes, the Bethesda have said at least a year for mods. But again, I'm very skeptical. I think that the roadmap for making this game a fully robust, great, awesome game is a long one it's not going to be quick and i'm very skeptical of the idea that they're going to have mods on time i think they will come later because they'll be doing other things first anyway what are we doing here we're getting a tea fuse is there a bench in this area this feels like a kind of place that would have a bench in it aha yes scraps of items can i then it's an armor workbench i can repair some of my armor can't i let's have a look what i can repair because i think my armor's getting a bit beat up uh, that's pretty low. That is actually... I'm wearing that and it's not even working right now. It's broken. So let's have a look. I need adhesive tape, steel scrap, rubber, and raw leather. Okay, let's repair that. I really hope I have enough adhesive beyond this. So uh, the rest of it is all... Wait, silver lining. That's completely broken as well. Raw leather, raw cloth, and adhesive. Okay. I really hope I've got more adhesive. I'm really worried that when I try and repair my weapons that I'm not going to have enough adhesive. What's up here? Oh, hey, man. What's going on? Is there another one? Yep, there is. You're dead. No, you dead. T-Fuse. Fragmine. Very nice. I really could use a weapon bench up here, man. Come on, please. Give me one. Give me a weapon bench. Is there one in here? Weapon bench. Come on. Give. Nope. Okay. Not there. So. Hey, Alex Ducker. What's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. This game is a cash grab. Yes. Unfortunately, I agree with you. So. Unfortunately, I agree with you. This looks terrible. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people are giving this a very rough rap. I wish I could lead you to a better place and be like, guys, no, it's really good. Trust me. Watch this. And show you some cool thing and you're like hey yeah that is cool thanks skill up but unfortunately i'm not doing that because i can't do that possible um yeah you can only repair weapons at weapon benches um but yeah that's just how it is also you can dismantle your pit boy as someone learned i forget who it was but they managed actually i think it was vault news network he actually managed to disable his pit boy and then when he's done that and he looked at his arm right there was just a, a gap where his arm was so like you know you, where his arm is right now you can see it and you can see the pit boy there was just like an empty space and you could see right through it. you could see like he's just had a floating hand at that point so um yeah it was, it was pretty funny all righty i'm still trying to change my perspective back and we've done the thing now and now we need to go back to the place don't we yes we do we need to go back to this medical place so why we needed to travel back and forward like that is a little bit beyond me, but whatever. We're just going to go with it. So, uh, there are full review, Jay Elson. Yes, um, I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. What? 
the Red Dead review will hopefully be will definitely be coming out sometime next week. Um, I'm going overseas next week. I can't tell you where yet. It's an exciting trip. Trust me, you guys are gonna like it. I've got some cool stuff that I'm doing overseas. Uh, the Red and I, I fly on Wednesday, and my Red Dead review will be out before then. So. Um, stay tuned it's coming and yes there will be a proper script for it as well for any sponsors of uh on uh the channel anyone who's joined the youtube channel or anyone who is a patreon will get that limited edition special fancy script from the special graphic designer dude so yeah um can pick up a piece of mirror back see you sketchy enjoy pizza dude can we fast travel now or what let's go got him all right Honestly, I'm optimistic for 76, but I'll wait to the New Year's see if it's any better. I think that's a good approach, man. What's the overall goal, Chaos? The overall goal is just to explore the world and uh, and just have Fallout adventures. You know, it's 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 literally about just being out in this space, exploring old buildings, reading notes that you find about what happened in the past, and listening to hollow tapes. Building a base is something that people like doing. I can't really see a point of building a base at this point. Um, it's, I, uh, yeah, you can do it, I guess, but I, I don't know why you'd want to. Um, I mean, I, I understand why you'd want to. People enjoy building and it's cool, but I don't understand the gameplay loop associated with base building. Like, I, I don't know what the benefit of it is besides, you know, just having the fun of it. So, hey, look, look at this, guys. I think this axe is on fire. Let's have a look at this fire axe. Is it on fire? Oh, it's not. It's just a fire axe. As in, like, a fireman's axe. Okay, fine. Whatever. That's disappointing. Um, I'll just I'll just put that on my quick... Uh, my quick scope, lol. Actually, the other thing was that short hunting rifle, which I kind of want... Okay, I've got that as well. Good. Um, 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 what else should I equip? Short hunting rifle... That's going to go 31 rounds. I got 217 rounds. My pistol, which I've been using, that's broken now. And that's my fire axe. That's only got. F oh no, it's got 203 rounds. Yeah, cool. All right, we can use that. Is that all I've got, really? That I can. My. Uh, the other thing's broken? Is it broken? Oh, it's nearly broken. Oh, it's in bad nick. Why is it. Why can't I use it if it's broken? That's weird. Whatever, I'll use this pistol. Okay. Um. um, um, um back inside the base lets you have your workshops on hand yeah cool and that's fine like that's convenient to have a workshop available to you I mean I get that but um, you know there's all this other stuff you can build generators and defenses and furniture and all this sort of shit and it's like alright cool you've got all that why you know if it's just for having the fantasy of having a space that you live in I get that I know people love doing that whole base building thing but it seems to me that the base building concept is completely disconnected from um, the broader game. I mean, you collect you collect loot, you collect junk so you can build stuff. I guess that's the way it's connected, but I don't see the incentive to build some big elaborate base in this game. That's my view. If everyone's dead, who gets paid and for what if you use fast travel? <laughs> See, these are the important questions, dude. This is why the chat is so important. They raise all the important questions. Um, can I tell you more about the scripts? Are they physical or digital? They're only digital copies. So the way it works is that when I do one of my big reviews called like The Review, I have a brief review format where I just talk in front of a camera. It's very chill. Then I have like The Review, which is very long and very scripted. And, you know, a lot of work goes into those videos in terms of like, you know, presentation and editing and whatever. When I do those reviews, I send them to a graphic designer and he takes them and he builds these really beautiful uh, scripts out of them. Like, you know, just really beautifully professionally designed with just great, just great art. This is fantastic. Uh, and and that's it. So they're only available digitally. They're a PDF. Um, they're just a nice keepsake. Obviously, you know, they're not printed. It'd be nicer if they were printed, but unfortunately that would be a bit of a logistical nightmare for me to do. Um, but either way, they're available uh, if you're interested in becoming a patron or following the channel. That's the way it works. So I hope that answers the question, dude. Five bucks. Easy M. Thank you for all the content you put out. Lamb and Gaming, my favorite channels on YouTube right now. Thanks, man. That's really kind of you. I do appreciate that a lot. So, uh, Corey, what's going on? How are you, dude? I'm trying to find... Oh, I have to go this way. That's right. I remember now. Let's go. Wait, where, wait. Oh, here it is. It's in a different machine. Good. 
Fuse box, replace the fuse. Got it. I did a type T fuse, had to go across the world to do it. Now I'm going in a symptomatic. Nice name. Uh, have I changed my view? Squared gaming? Not in the slightest, man. In fact, my view has only become um, more more uh, enforced by myself, you know. I, I love this less and less the more I play it. Scourge play inoculation, photo mode enabled, in the responders, ounce of prevention. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, okay, listen. Okay, so I've got to go to a fire station, I guess. I think I got a piece of armor as well. Let's check that out. I got apparel and I got... Uh, I can wear a hazmat suit. That replaces all of my armor though, I think. So it just gives me lots of rad resistance. Uh, troubleshooters, leather, right leg. Uh, yes, so I can see that this is... What am I using on my right leg right now? A hardened raider one or this troubleshooters leather. Okay, so this is an upgrade. Um, hey, Chris McLean just did uh, Patreon $5 subscription to Patreon. Thank you very much, dude. You will get all of the old scripts as well when you become a patron. Just scroll through the posts and you'll see all of the old uh, scripts available there. But thank you very much for that support, man. Um, so I put on this troubleshooters blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that's it. Loot comes pretty slowly in this game. Very slowly, in fact. So don't expect it to be a very loot-centric game. Now, what are we going to do next? Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, what's the next main, qu main quest line thing? Let's have a look. Data. Miscellaneous. Tune into the top of the world radio signal. Alright, this is another quest that I haven't started yet. So, over here, I've got to go here and then I can tune into a radio signal. So, let's do that. Uh, will they ever update this outdated engine? I sure should hope they update this engine for Starfield because if Starfield releases on this engine, holy shit, I reckon we're going to see... I reckon the Diablo Immortal Backlash will be child's play compared to what we can expect if they release Starfield on this old engine, man. See? <laughs> be crazy. Hmm. Will I be playing or reviewing Smash Brothers? No way. I like Smash Brothers, but I would never dare review Smash Brothers because the Smash community is so crazy passionate, so knowledgeable, and I don't really know that much about like proper hardcore Smash, so no way, man. I mean, the, the review will just be, hey, Smash is out. It's cool. I like it. It's fun. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would never dare try and speak about the in-depth mechanics of Smash because uh, it's, uh, it's too risky, man. You'll piss off everyone. Hey, Nathan, um, I've just got a, my radio is telling me to go. Nathan Skilling just did $10 via Patreon. Thank you very much, Nathan. That's very generous as well. Make sure you go through and get those old scripts that you can get on the Patreon. Uh, yeah, thanks, dude. That's really kind. 10 bucks on Patreon. Thanks, dude. Is the For Honor review coming out? Hey, Zypher, dude. I know you from Twitter, man. Um... Yeah, man, absolutely. Uh, the For Honor review is a very long work in progress because uh, I want to put about 100 hours into that game for exactly the same reasons that I'm scared to review a um, sm uh, the Smash. Smash. I'm also very, sc very scared to review For Honor. That's why I'm doing my due diligence. And I'm not reviewing that game until I put at least 100 hours into it. And I've also organized uh, interviews with... Um God, he's so much health. He just fell over for no reason. Hang on. Still alive! My god. I've also interviewed, organized interviews with um, two professional uh, For Honor players, including a former world champion. Uh, I'm interviewing two of the largest For Honor YouTubers and two community members who each have like thousands of hours in the game. So it'll be my perspective as a new player coming into it, augmented with the perspective of, you know, um, that new of a like professional long-term really knowledgeable place is this more todd rays that we're seeing here this is more todd rays okay this is great guys you get to see the todd ray phenomenon in action i'm pretty sure this is coming through a mountain so you can see the light there and then if we go around this tree and we just see where that light's coming from let's have a look is it yeah that's coming from a mountain man 
<laughs> I'm so glad we could hear, see the Todd Rays together. So, hey, the doorbell's ringing. Give me one sec, guys. I don't know. It might be for me. Give me one tick, okay? Hang on. for me we're good we're fine um okay for honor is yeah so getting back to for honor uh it's fucking good and uh i really recommend checking it out but uh man you, you have to you have to work for it you can't just step into foreign to start having fun you need to work really hard to not suck at 40 on a forearm. I'm about 30 or so hours in and I'm only just getting to the point where I won't absolutely lose every encounter. So, um, you know, so there. So you see the Todd Rays? You see them, guys? Look at them coming out of that mountain there. Just, just glorious. Just, I just want to make sure I'm recording the Todd Rays in, the, in, all, their, in all their beauty. Just, just stunning. Stunning Todd Rays. Anyway, um, where are we going now? We're, we're going up to some other place up here. Let's have a look. I've got to figure out how to get up there. What the fuck? Super mutant. Great. This gun is so bad, and I haven't found a weapons bench to be able to repair, so... This gun is absolutely ass. Does uh, no damage. Okay. Um, 38, short hunting rifle. Maybe I'll take that and I'll use that instead of this thing. I'll try and drop this weapon. Where's this other corpse? Here he is. Cool. Uh, item, weapon, short hunting rifle. Yep, fine, that's in good condition. And I'll drop this one. Cool, that's something. Why is my arm thirsty? That's why. Uh, aid. The, the, the survival aspects kick in really fast as well, by the way. You will spend a lot of time eating and drinking. Like, a lot, a lot. It's kind of annoying, so... It, feel, it feels like it's a bit much. If you're playing, um... Uh, if you're playing Red Dead, you will know that the survival aspects in that are actually very uh, non-invasive, you know? Like, you really don't have to worry too much about it. But certainly, um with this what was that certainly you need to um why is there a cut and gnome here certainly with this you're very often running you're, you're you're hungry or whatever else so blue garden gnome broken garden gnome moonshine and i'll leave all that there some people are obviously having some fun here target zone um we're gonna try and find our way up this cliff that's the goal right now so let's try and work on that Is this game like Dark Souls? Of course it is, man. Every game is like Dark Souls. What a ridiculous question. God, that's just, that's so casual. It's just the most casual question I've ever heard. Um, Tribane, whoa, long time no see, dude. Uh, is this game good? I do not believe this game is good. Uh, I know some people believe it is good, but I do not believe this game is good. The comparison to Red Dead as well is so poignant because Red Dead and this came out a few days from each other. Like, this, the beta came out a few days after Red Dead was released. The fact that this game is released in the same fucking decade as Red Dead is like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's raining now? They're the raining effects? Okay, I guess it's raining. That's rain, by the way, guys, just so you can see that's rain. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that, those are the weather effects. Again, compare that to the weather effects Go stand in a blizzard in Red Dead. Go stand in a fog in Red Dead. You know, go stand in the rain in Red Dead. Like, the fact that these two games have come out in the same decade is just crazy. How do we get up this cliff? This cliff goes forever. I feel like this is Skyrim all over again. 
trying to find your way up mountainsides. Does this game just work? Yeah, I'm gonna play this in 720p, Bethesda, what the fuck? Um, I think we're making progress up this hill though, we're getting it. We're, we're, we're doing it, we're making, we're getting there slowly but surely. Oh, is this a path? I think this is a path. Okay, excellent. Great. Uh, yeah, and even Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which, you know, I didn't love Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I definitely respected it. Even that is just leagues ahead of what this is. Like, leagues ahead. It's just stunning how little effort has been put into this video game. And the fact that they are charging you $60 for this is the ultimate crime. If you were charging me $30 for this, I would be like, look, I still think this is pretty rubbish, but it's only 30 bucks, so whatever. $60 plus the rest with your, like, power armor edition and all that sort of shit. The fact that they are charging that amount of money for this product is shit. It is absolutely shit. There is no way in hell this product is worth $60. No way in hell. But, anyway. This should have been a DLC drop on Fallout 4 or a free community mod. That is the only two ways in which this should have been dropped. It should not have been dropped as a free, as a, as a full price $60 game. Absolutely not. Just, I, I've definitely seen many community mods that are better than this. I'm not playing um, California or whatever, but apparently everyone says it's fantastic and everyone says it blows this out of the water. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, $60 plus microtransactions. Let's be clear, this game that you buy, you st there's still microtransactions on top of this with all the fucking cosmetics and stuff that they have on them. Like, come on now, please, please. You are just taking the absolute piss here. So, <laughs> yeah, some people are saying that they're gonna buy it just for the helmet and they're not even gonna play the game, <laughs> which I think is not a great place to be, so. Look, I mean, oh shit, what the fuck was that? Oh my God. What the hell? Oh my god. I do not think I have a chance against whatever that is. Now I'm getting radiation poisoning. Oh, it's a sentry bot. No, leave, 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 leave. How do I get out of here? He's level 30. He'll destroy me. No, run, please, run. I don't know how long he'll follow me for as well. One of the other really awesome things about this game. Mr. Gutsy. Oh god, they've spotted me. Get out of here. One of the other things is that enemies don't leash for like forever. So they'll follow you for, for such a crazy amount of time. Um, Did I even hit him then? Okay, that's how much damage I do to these guys. So it's just a waste of time to be here. We'll just keep moving to somewhere else. Uh, that wasn't even the sentry bot, the level 30 sentry bot. <sighs> yeah, it was just, that was just a level 22 thing. I'm only level 16. My weapons are really trashed here, garbage. Uh, as I've been collecting everything. I've been, you know, doing as much as I can, but I still have not found decent weapons. I've not found plans for good new weapons. Uh, the item economy is very, very slow in this game, so. Hmm. Hey, Nitro, what's going on, dude? Uh, I decided I'd stream on YouTube for a change, man, because uh, that Fallout video is really blown up unexpectedly, so I thought I'd do a few hours on YouTube just to see how it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't get me banned on Twitch, lol, which can happen. Oh, God. Well, let's just see how that goes. We'll see. Seems boring, to be honest. Yes. I agree. But we're pushing on, as I said. We're um we're we're gonna we're gonna review this game, so we wanna see it get as high level as we can so that we can when we play it, we'll do the review, we can uh, you know, see what the more of the the mid to late game systems are like, which I think it's very important to review those. Because the progress in this beta carries over to the main game. That's another thing, which I think is actually really scummy. Um it's another thing that I think makes this game more of a demo than a beta, because if your progress is carrying over, well, you'd like to think that the game's pretty complete, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm level 16 still using this these pipe weapons uh, because there's just nothing else. Or if I do have them, I just don't have enough ammo. And yeah, you really, um, 
the, the item economy, as I said. Here we go. came on my god thank god she's still going We're done. As in, we've 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 kicked off a new quest line. There's a lady here who it sounds like she's a human, but spoiler alert, she's not. Oh God, giant bugs. Um, and she's asked us to do some stuff. Now, just even that interaction, by the way, hearing a voice in the sky, it's just really not engaging because not having a face that you can look at and see their facial expressions, and you get a sense of their personality, and you can kind of just having voices it really really hurts the experience you know um i know it's a subtle thing like what why would a face matter so much but you know like it does we're human beings man we're programmed like that that's just how it works so yeah it's uh that part of it really really hurts oh that frame rate come on now please this is on high settings okay oh overseer's log this is another thing okay listen log. here we go Right, well, that was an overseas log, I guess. Um, now, new member, World Eater. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you. Nice to have you here with us. Um, yeah. Good times. Good times. But Coke Carnage said the game is good. I have heard that Coke Carnage is enjoying the game. So, Coke Carnage is a good person to watch if you want to check out a different perspective. I really, really recommend doing that. Um... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not the guy that loves this, but if Ko is, great. Great, great. Um, I recommend go checking him out, man. Uh, let's go and head towards this thing that I need to get. Um, it's a, it's, what is it? Signal strength. Find the signal repeater something or other. Schematic. Schematic. Uh, Ko says every game is good. <laughs> right, okay. I don't really watch much of his stream, so I don't know. I'm not sure what, what the deal with Ko is, but anyway. But if he says it's good, go find out why he likes it. Go find out why Oxhorn likes it. Go find out why heaps of other people say it's good. I wouldn't say heaps, actually. I would say, on balance, most people are not enjoying this, but I would say go and seek out different perspectives. Uh, you're betting off getting a new Flagus mod. I know, right? A lot of people are saying that. Fallout Miami in California, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, and also all those like really massive Skyrim mods that you can get. Uh, Skywind as well is coming out. Um, all that sort of shit, you know. Yeah, the frame rate is just atrocious. It's absolute atrocious. Absolutely atrocious, but anyway. Um, so, yeah. Afraid Co is afraid to call any game game because it might hurt his business. All oh, right. I mean, look. I think one of the challenges that I face with this is that, uh, you know, I don't like calling a game shit. It, it, it's not the kind of space that I want to occupy on YouTube. I don't want to be that guy that does that. But you, you have to be honest when you think a game is garbage. You know what I mean? You just, you have to. You've got to be straight up with your audience. Because your audience will just see through your garbage. If you say, like, a game is good when clearly it is shit, then, I don't know, man. They're, they're not going to listen to you for very long. You know what I mean? 
They're going to switch off very fast. Are they fighting each other? How are you still alive? He's level 14. Okay. Some more health. There we go. He should have some ammo on him because he had a gun. Yes, shotgun shells. Oh, that's charming. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I'm already getting pretty close to being hungry and thirsty. Yes, pretty close. Um, this looks a bit Mad Max-esque, this camp. What is this? Re recipe. Thanks. Frag grenade. Thank you. I can rest at this mattress? Just move this corpse off, I guess? Let's have a, let's have a nap, guys. But Ralph, this is shit. Um. Yeah, the overseer is certainly dead. Everyone's dead in this game, so. Now, at this point, I rest, and I don't remove any of my radiation, um... Bed rolls and mattresses lying on the ground can carry disease. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. That's so good. Mm. <laughs> you have contracted swamp itch. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Hey! Race of air. Cool. Um... I recommend Operator Drewski's most recent video for another perspective. Carry the great work. Guys, Racevec is one of my absolute favorite people in the world. He makes some of the absolute best, most top tier content on YouTube. His click, his uh, thumbnails are like the exact opposite of clickbait. It's literally just his name, every thumbnail. That's all it is, right? He is just the real deal. Talking about gaming essays without doing any of that garbage that we hate gaming essays for. Please go and search Racevic. Um, he's just one of the best one of the best in the whole business so thanks for stopping by ray appreciate it buddy um it's really awesome man um i don't know have you been playing this right what do you think of this man <laughs> do you have a, do you have a perspective on this i'm sure you would um and atelixion lay show love your work opinion of this if this was a full fallout title with borderlands as cop instead of a rust clone i mean i can't really think about hypotheticals to be honest dude why is my my game crashed my game crashed oh no i'm just asleep that's fine we're good um yeah, I mean, we don't really know what it would be like if it was a different type of game, you know. Uh, I'm fine with something not being Fallout 5. What does Swamp Itch do, by the way? Let's check that out. Um, I'm fine with something not being Fallout 5, but I'm also not fine... But I'm not fine with the alternative being shit, you know what I mean? Like, and I just think this is shit. So, so that's it. Um, hey, there's Thick Boy in the chat, by the way. You can see him there. Uh... Yeah, so say hi to him if you like, guys. And Racevic is the shit. Agreed. And uh, and Joseph Anderson. Yes, Matthew Matosis, Joseph Anderson, Super Bunny Hop. Uh, all really, really awesome content creators. And I recommend checking them all out. So, yeah. Uh, Mole Rat Hide. Yummy. Let's keep going. Um, I'm interested to see if Racevic has, is playing this. I'm looking to see if he's responding. Uh, was the schematic here? It was here, right? Where am I now? Where am I on the map? I'm right here. Wait, did I get them schematic already? Signal strength. Find the repeater schematic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's over here. I'm not even in the right place. Okay, this was not where it is then. Fair enough. Hey, is anything here? 48 round shotgun shell. I'm over encumbered with ammo takes up. I didn't even know that ammo takes up space. That is a new, that is a new, that's new information right there. Okay, well, we'll have to jettison some stuff. Medics. Um... Right, let's go into our inventory and do that then. Item. Can I drop any weapons? Weapons are always the problem. Security baton. It's only two kilos, but I'm only one over. I'm gonna, I've got that axe, actually. That's right. Fire axe. That should weigh a lot. That weighs three. Does 40 damage. The security baton does 19. You are gone. See you, buddy. Um, are the quests repetitive? Uh, I wouldn't say the quests... Look... Someone on the Fallout 70, on the Fallout subreddit said that all of the quests in this game feel like side quests, okay? There's a lot of variety in terms of go to this different place and collect this different thing, but ultimately all quests involve you get some sort of note or holotape that tells you to do something, you go to a specific location, you pick up an item off the ground, and then you return to a specific location. I've probably done that 40 times already and i probably completed a total of about 60 quests in this game you know so extremely repetitive um quest loop 
uh, even though there is some variation within it. You know, they all f they're all different, but they all feel the same, I think is the best way to put it. So, Race of Ix, thanks for a lot of skeleton viewers. As a Fallout, don't have the time to play the beta or launch, so I can't say much. Definitely seems like an experience that doesn't accommodate solo play. Yeah, totally. I agree with that. Agreed. Fallout 76 for Knack 2, says William James. What a ridiculous question. That's, just, that's so disrespectful to Knack, man. Come on, man. That is so disrespectful to Knack. Hell oh, shit. I can hear something. What is that? Pressing Q. Oh, wait. Diseased, erratic, ragstag, doe. Oh, God. It's all over me. Oh, God. Help. Oh, God. It's so ugly. Look at it. Oh, gross. It's got teeth and everything. Look at him. Bleh. Yuck. It's disgusting. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. Great. Let's just get rid of that axe now, I guess. <laughs> we'll just keep jettisoning um, melee weapons until... No, we're not. That's what I wanted to do. What can I use? I've got this pipe pistol. Fine. Am I excited for Fortuna? Of course, man. I'm hoping Fortuna's this week. That's the that's the rumor. That's the rumor, right? I'm, I'm pumped. So... Hey, is Thylander here? Where's Thylander? I didn't see Thylander. Hey, Thylander. What's going on, dude? Um, Thailand is a very good friend of mine as well, so, um, I won't say how I know him, what he does, but I will say he's a very good friend, so, um, and he works in the games industry. So, what do you think of this, Thailand? Check out this frame rate, bruh. This is running on high settings, by the way, because I can't run it on ultra, the whole thing just dies. <laughs> so, this is it, man. This is 76 in all its beautiful glory. Is there going to be a Red Dead review? Yeah, dude, of course. I'm 30% through Red Dead right now, I'm taking my time with it. It is not the kind of game, excuse me, that you are, uh, that you want to rush. It's just too, too beautiful, too finely crafted, too, too special, to be honest. So I'm just soaking it up slowly, taking a lot of notes, recording every moment of gameplay, and I uh, want to put out a really good review. So it's coming though, it'll come out sometime next week before I fly overseas to a special undisclosed location that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. But it's exciting, you guys are going to like it. How many hours are you in 76? I'm probably about... 15 to 20 hours i can't remember but i've played all the beaters through their entire duration so that gives you an idea of how far i'm into it yeah no go away we're looking for a um schematic somewhere around here this typewriter i'd love to take but it'll probably make me over encumbered yep i'm over encumbered i really want that typewriter to be honest so i'm disappointed because it has aluminium in it which i desperately need but whatever um Weapons, uh, uh, aid, miscellaneous, typewriter? Where is it gone? Where's the typewriter? What was it called? Mm. Where'd it go? <laughs> Come on. I really want to drop it now, and I can't find it. Wait. Junk, it's in junk. There we go, it's in junk. Okay, typewriter. Still can't find the typewriter. I don't actually think this is, um... Oh, here we go. Color typewriter. Yeah, cool. This has got a lot of stuff that I need in there as well. So it's kind of really annoying to lose it. But anyway, it's five kilos, so it's it has to go. Nope, that's not what I want to press. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this UI. This UI. Okay. I've still got that swamp itch. It likes to remind me of that. Thanks, man. It's like my quiet shame, but, you know, I try and keep that on the DL. But sure, man, just announce it to everyone on stream that I've got swamp itch. Thanks, man. How are they behaving? Look at them. Headshot. I think um, one of the primary challenges with... Uh, how many? had tons of stuff on him. Hang on, let's have a look. One of the primary challenges with this game is that the enemies just aren't really designed to be shot at. Like, they kind of move in a really annoying way that is just not conducive to a good shooter. Um, they're either not moving at all or they're moving way too fast and you can't really track across. So, like, something like Destiny, for example, all of their enemies are really well designed where they're easy to shoot at or, like, the Division or that sort of stuff. You know, they just, like... They understand how an enemy needs to behave if you're going to shoot at it and feel like a badass and hit it. But the enemies here don't... just They just don't behave that way. Because the single-player game is so reliant on VATs all the time, you know? We've done it. We've got the signal repeater stuff. Oh, there's a box here. Give me stuff. Yes. Shotgun shells. Psycho. All right. Uh, what are some positives I can play say about 76? 
Um, it's more Fallout world to explore. If you're a massive Fallout fan, you can um, explore another wasteland. Um, the map is big, I guess. Uh, what the fuck is that? A honey beast? What the hell? Is he going to get stuck on a ledge? Let's see if he can handle basic ledges. Is he going to throw bees at me? Bees? Oh my god, come on, man. I'm trying to kill the honey beast. Uh, other, fall other benefits include it has honey beasts. And swarms of bees that I can't shoot at. But they can hit me. So that's good. Uh, um, what else? Uh, there's also the amount of damage that enemies take, which is beautiful, as you can see. Um, really well balanced. I only need to shoot this guy about 800 more times until he dies. So that's really good. Yeah, we're making good progress on this. Okay, I've got my, my, my automatic weapon, which I saved the bullets for, but we're going to use it now. And we're going to try and see what we can do. Okay, it's going well. I don't have any stims on my quick thing either, so we're going to need to just bail for a bit and then heal up and then come back. Can he come inside here? Can he handle insides? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here, man. Come here, bro. 10 millimeter. I've got some of that. There we go. He, so I don't think he can handle insides. So he's just going to stay outside now and I'm just going to chill in here and kill him from behind this desk. Yeah, he's just going to stay out there. The, 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 the AI can't handle basic basic things like this, so it just sits there. I'm out of web armor on that. It's all right. We've got our pipe pistol. It's fine. We'll just finish it off with this. And that's the game. Uh, yeah. That's uh, Fallout, I guess, guys. Uh, suppressed, speedy, pump action, gold adhesive. Uh, yeah. Look, if you saw that and you thought that was really cool and fun, cool. Fallout is for you. Uh, if you saw that and you thought, man, that kind of sucked. Fallout's not for you. I think that's a really good demonstration because someone asked me, are there any good points that you can make? That's it. That's uh, that's what I would say, you know? Um, that's the perfect demonstration right there. So, uh, I've got a Gatling laser? It weighs 20 kilos. Where the fuck did I get that? Fire rate, damage is 10. It weighs 20 kilos. Yeah, we're not going to be carrying that around. We're going to drop that, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm not over encumbered anymore, so that's nice. Um, this looks terrible. Good lord, this game looks awful. Uh, build a camp and store your crap. Yeah, I can do that. I might do that, actually. That's a good idea. Um, so, yeah, as I said, if you like what you saw, then cool. Uh, if you didn't like it, um, you know, as I said, Fallout's not really going to offer you very much at all. So, uh, that's that's the third major, like, boss-type enemy that I've managed to kill just by bugging them out against the terrain, you know? Uh, I just You just go on against a ledge or something, and they can't handle ledges, and, you know, they can't handle very basic stuff. So, it's very easy to cheese those big enemies, you know? Preston Garvey, I know he's not here, man. It's disappointing. All right, let's um, let's store our junk. Let's get a, let's let's build a base. All right, I'll show you guys the building component. Let's we haven't actually gone through that yet, so let's do that. Fuck's sake, everything just has so much health. All my weapons are so shit. This hunting rifle is any good? Oh my god! All right, cool. Why do I play this game? I play it to review it. I play it to review it. I do not play it because I find it fun. I play it to review it. Um, let's build, right? Here's how we build. Can I build here? Oh man, go away. Good. So, we bring up our Pip-Boy, we press the Z key, and it brings up our camp. Our camp thing we can drop on the ground here, and we enter and accept, okay? That's another thing, right? You can't uh, use your key. You can't use your keyboard and mouse when you're doing a lot of this stuff. Uh, for example, I needed to press the enter key to drop that. Now, there's no reason in hell I should use the enter key. I've never had to use the enter key at any point in time throughout this entire game, but the UI is so badly designed that it just randomly assigns keys to different things as you're playing. Okay, so 
Uh, I need to build. Uh, I need to build what if I've stored a whole bunch of stuff here. So I can just drop it down like so, and I can press E to build it as opposed to enter, which I pressed before, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to press E. Uh, there's my stash box and there's a generator and I have a cooking camp thing and uh, which I move with the scroll mouse, by the way, when I'm moving it in and out, I use, I need to use the, um, the mouse scroll. So that's that. And that's everything I've already built. Okay. Now here's my stash, which I can just leave this. Yep. Cool. And I can transfer all my junk to the stash. Um, and you can see there's a weight limit there. I'm already at one quarter of the weight limit when I, you know, I'm only level 16 or whatever. As I said, um, I'm very worried that the stash limits are going to stay very low because it costs Bethesda money to store this data. When we're playing single player, sky's the limit, it's all on our hard drives. But here, it costs them money for every line item you see here, okay? That's why games like The Division and Destiny are so reluctant to increase stash sizes because it literally costs them money. So I worry that we're going to hit hard caps on our storage space and that we will be massively cock blocked, cocked, cock blocked by that. So um, yeah, okay, that's that. My generator is not connected to anything. I can scrap more stuff here, which is good. Actually, I don't even have any junk to scrap. I can repair some stuff. So I'll show you what it's like to repair different things. These are my weapons. All right, this is my armor. So this is my weapon here. Yeah, okay. Um, I'd really like to repair. This shotgun is quite good. Uh, where's the other shotgun I was using? I had two shotguns, I had another shotgun. Okay, right. Well, I had another shotgun and I must have just dropped it or something. I don't even remember how I did that. What the fuck? Maybe I stashed it. Anyway, I've got a shotgun here. I can repair it with aluminium for aluminium. Cool. Done. That's a good weapon. It's in great nick right now. I can walk out with that with a lot of confidence about what's going to, you know, me being able to use it. This one I need ammo for. This one's garbage. This is garbage. Uh, this hardened hunting rifle is quite useful. I can't repair this because I'm missing aluminium. So just so you're clear, I played this game for like three hours today and I only managed to get like four aluminium, okay? So so I want to be able to repair more than one weapon. Can't do it, not allowed. Don't have any aluminium, even though I've collected everything I could that has aluminium on it. Very frustrating how limited the um, adhesive and aluminium economy is. Uh, and yeah, that's just really, really frustrating. Anyway. Uh, I want to go back. Cool. At least I've got a shotgun, which is good. I'm going to dump some weapons here. Because I don't need all of these weapons on me. The 10mm I'll take. Frag grenade, fine. That hardened hunting rifle I can't even use at the moment. Until I get some aluminium. So I'm going to store it. Uh, the This is useful. Fine. I'm using that quite a bit, it seems. I can't repair it though, it's about to break, but I just have to throw it away when I do. Uh, a short hunting rifle and this shotgun is in good nick, so that's great. Okay. Now, if I want to build other stuff, uh, you'll see here that this is the, the, this is the interface. I, I can't use my mouse and keyboard to, to navigate this. I need to use the Z key to move across the top axis. And then I need to use the um, up and down arrows to move between these options. Again, I've never had to touch the up and down arrows the entire time I'm playing this game. I only do it here. Now, I know this sounds really nitpicky, but like, I just hate any game that releases on PC and doesn't take the time to develop a proper PC UI. It really pisses me off because it means that developers just didn't take the time to do it, you know? You look at something like Destiny and Call of Duty, they came out recently, they've really put a lot of time into those PC ports. I know Call of Duty has some problems at the moment, but they really put the time in to make those ports sing, you know? From a UI perspective, from a technical perspective, whatever, right? Any game that comes to PC, if it's gonna be, a P be on PC, it should take the time to develop a, a, a good UI. This UI is so far from good, so bad, that it's just, it's such a minimum viable effort. You know what I mean? Uh, not even minimal viable, it's just substandard, you know? But I don't know, Some most people don't care about that. I care about that a lot personally and that's it. Now I can build defenses here if I want to. Um, 
if I have enemies that might want to attack my camp, I can build fences, generators, power connectors. I can build lights. Um, I can grow my own food and water, which is useful. Um, stuff like that. There's also the whole, you start getting into cosmetic spaces and all that sort of stuff. There's, there's lots of options to build around, you know, for this sort of stuff, but it's a case of, you know, do, do you want to do that? Personally, it's not really what motivates me in this game. Um, I'd rather be out in the world exploring, killing, leveling up, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, as I said, your mileage, your mileage may vary. Anyway, um, I want to cook some food because I think I've got some meat on me. So let's check out what food I can cook. Grilled ragstag, radstag, grill, radstag steak, and wolf ribs. Yeah, good. Great. And then, I, yeah. The other thing is pressing escape, by the way, uh, it gets you out of every menu all at once. So you kind of need to press tab to go back, which is a bit weird. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll won't worry about that now. Um, plants, mm, healing stuff, all food. We can't really make anything. We can make bean soup. Fine, let's do that. And then syrup. What's that for? Anyway, whatever. Uh, exit. Yes, I want to exit. Cool. So right now, where are we at? We're at um, 143 kilos or pounds for, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, stash limit, or sorry, carry capacity. What I'm going to do is here, what I did last time as well, is I got rid of all of my aid stuff, which takes up a lot of space. And then I just took back what was important. So let's just put all that in, and then I take some stuff out. Sky was the only YouTuber that can make a full out live stream <laughs> enjoyable. No, there's gonna be lots of other dudes who's doing enjoyable live streams of that, so go go find those people that have those that really love this game and they'll be having lots of fun with it. You know, they'll be playing with friends and all that sort of stuff. Um Do I read the chat BNS Mark? Yeah man, I'm just doing a big explanation now of systems, so I'm reading the chat less. I've been reading the chat for the last few hours. Don't worry, man. I'm I'm checking it all out. But I'm just trying to show you guys how building and base building works um here. Um I don't know what these things are or why they're there. I don't know what they're shooting at. I guess we should go find out. Let's see. I'm still suffering some swamp itch, by the way, guys. What is that? Is that a cargo bot? Is that a cargo drop happening here? Wait, where, where, where's it going? Oh, it's gone now. They're shooting at enemies or what? Foul tick. Alright, well. Shit. Are they just patrolling? I guess they're just patrolling. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to go back to... Oh, I'm thirsty now. Okay, well, we've got to go back. We've got to drop our stuff off. We have to um, take some stuff back out so that we've got food and water ready to go. Um, I'm going to transfer the rest of my aid stuff. I've already done that. Okay, cool. So, what about miscellaneous? My miscellaneous? I haven't stored that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, well, I want to store this. Um, bobby pins I need. Comic, lol. Uh, gold ore, I guess. Gunpowder, I don't need that right now, do I? Nope. Fine. Um, wow, did that just, like... I've got a hundred... Man, did I have just, like, tons of gunpowder and that was what was causing me problems? Holy shit. Okay, uh... HR password, no. Iron ore, lead ore, silver ore, and uranium ore. Great. Perfect. What else can I drop in there? Hollow lens, hollow lens, hollow taped stuff, notes, fine. Uh, let's make sure we bring some aid with us. So this brings intelligence, uh, beer we can drink, mac and cheese we can eat. Um, the bobbleheads are consumables that give you buffs. So we'll use those. The bubble gum is, yeah, anyway, that's actually 50% slower for 10 minutes. I found another bubble gum that was 5% slower for 2 minutes. Completely pointless. Um, buff out is good. Canned dog food, very useful. Carrot flour, I guess. Doesn't really do anything. Cram. <laughs> We're definitely going to eat some cram. Apples, dirty water, I can boil that. Fancy lad snack cakes. Sure. 
Gum is pretty garbage. Grilled meat is good. Healing salve is good. Honey, I don't think we need. Honey. AP. Oh, it's AP. Okay. Instant mash is good. Medex, yes. Uh, more beer. Noodle cup. Nuka Cola is good. Uh, see, you can even see how much room this food is taking up. Like, I'm already up 20 kilos just from taking this stuff out, you know? Uh, more beer. Psycho. I don't. Do I want to take some psycho with me? I guess I will. Can't weigh that much, right? Purified water, very important. That's three kilos there. Rad X, very important. Rad X, rad away. The steak. Uh, spices, spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Stimpak, definitely. Stimpak. Um, whiskey and wolf ribs. Great. So that was 40 kilos that I just picked up in terms of food. But I kind of need all of that stuff as I'm walking out into the wasteland, right? I kind of need to be able to feed myself, drink, um, you know, I'm going to go through all of this stuff while I'm adventuring. But now I only have 30 kilos free, do you know what I mean? And that was just taking some, some basics, some essentials. So the carry limit is really problematic right now, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on in my chat right here. What's up with this dude? Can I click on this guy? No, I can't click on names here. That sucks. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Can I click on names? Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Wait. We got it. We got it. We got it. Uh, boom. Do we get it? We got him. We got him. Yeah, cool. We had to zap someone. Zap! Okay. Um, can I boil this water, by the way? I just want to check quickly, because I had some dirty water on me, and I think I can boil it. All drinks, boiled water, yes. Good. 27 spoiled vegetables just eating up inventory. Yeah, I mean, but if they're in here, I haven't hit my limit on that yet, so that's no big deal. I don't know if I can craft ammo here. I don't think I can. Can I craft ammo here? Let's have a look. No. So you can just see here as well, by the way, how few crafting options I have for weapons at this point. And I'm now 15, 20 hours in, you know? Uh, it's it's just, there's just nothing to craft yet. And I, I mean, maybe I'm... Maybe there's some stuff here that I need to, like, do that I haven't built yet that unlocks more things. What do I need to press? Z blueprints? I don't have any blueprints. No, okay. Floors, walls, roofs, doors, crafting. See, I've, I've, what do I need to do? I need, find plans to build this thing. I can't find plans to build any of this stuff yet. And yeah. So, yeah. I can't. I can't really do anything more here. I'm pretty much done. I'm oh, I'm really starved now, and I'm really thirsty. I've been hanging around here, and so let's just uh, let's eat and drink, mac and cheese. Yep, it'll give us some rads, but whatever. Uh, boiled water. Yep. Good and canned dog food. Mm -mm. Actually, I've got to get rid of my rads. Let's have a look at that. Can I do rad X? No, nope, rad away. Diluted. Cool. Um, I really craft stuff in 4. It doesn't seem like they've really added much. No, it seems like a lot of reused weapons, a lot of reused um, building assets and stuff. It's Again, it's a real... Look, the, the, the very crude um, hot take on this is that it's an asset flip. And I... And it's very crude, but I really believe in many respects it's it's totally accurate, you know. Um, someone asked about... Uh, Alec, my brother, asked about uh, RPG. Yeah, we can check that out. I'll show you just the level up system again, just in case anyone joined the stream recently. When you level up, you get packs of cards. I don't have any packs of cards at the moment, but I can't open them, but I do have points that I can distribute. And I, am you know, put points into my different build options. So, for example, Perception is where I'm putting a lot of um, points right now. And that allows me to put more cards under that stat, right? Uh, I, I'm, I've put a lot of points into Perception at the moment. I don't really have any cards that I want to use right now. Um, so maybe we should look at some Endurance stuff. Eating dog food. Chems generate less thirst. Um, you take 30% less radiation from eating or drinking. Mm, disease from the environment. You gain increased benefit from being well-fed or well-hydrated. Okay. 
Well, that's kind of cool because I, I do that a lot, I guess. So, let's put that on, okay? I'm trying to stay above... Oh, can I... Do I have enough points to do this? Hmm. This is another thing, right? It'll give you the option to combine some cards, but you don't actually know if you have budget enough to be able to to do this, so... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go back. Because I worry I don't have enough. No, I'm worried I don't have enough. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough in this regard, so... What's this one? Drone to all drinks, quest search, additional 25%. Drinking any liquid has 30% chance to cause disease, and that's that. Okay, so now you can see I've got, you know, cards underneath here associated with each, you know, point. I've got a budget of five for perception. I've got five points in cards. That's how it works, you know? Uh, if there's a skill cap, how do you retrain, redo your skill points? Uh, what if you're skilled to play i don't know if you can actually redo your points to be honest i'm not sure about that um rank up equip share inspect filter exit so if there is any way to redistribute your points then i don't know what it is i don't know uh i want to eat a bit more because then i'll get above i'll get some nice benefits so what can i eat i can eat noodles noodle cup didn't really do much. Uh, what else can I eat? I can eat uh, bubble gum. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Stops me from getting hungry, I guess. Well, dandy boy apples. Eat that. Cool. So then, now that we're above that, we've got some stat bonuses, which is good. Okay, why are we going next? Now, we've only got an hour left on the beta. We're going to press through. i tell you what, I've really had enough for today, but we're going to do this last uh, this last little bit. We'll push on for the last hour. This is the last hour of the beta before the game is released in nine days' time. So we want to make sure we're, you know, really soaking it up. And, uh, you know, we're seeing what we can see about the game because, you know, it's, uh, it's a rocky road ahead. I'm sure we can all agree. It's a rocky road ahead. Right. Where to? Where to? Where to? Uh, signal strength. Search for a duplexer. Search for a transponder. That is what I have to do next. Where they are, I don't know. Get the supply drop. Uh, nope. Okay, well, where the fuck is it? Search. Here we go. I've got to go here. Cool. Let's travel there. 11 caps. Looks like he's suffering. This game is torture. I am suffering. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm just going to collapse after I've done this stream because I put a lot of energy into it to try and like <laughs> keep it let, keep it light, keep it moving. Um, but I'm not having the most fun, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, I really i am going to be glad when I don't have to play any more of this game. Once I've done my final review of it, I'm, I'll be really glad when I'm done with this game. Okay, a search for something over here. Let's go. I have my weapon out. I have my shotgun, which I can also... Am I actually... Are my weapons properly configured? Are they all on quick quick access? Uh, yes, the shotgun is not. So let's put that on. Is this where I met those other dudes? Oh shit. Maybe it was. Hey, yeah, it was. I bought. That's where I've got that. The Sentinel drone was here as well. Good. Now I need to search for something else. Search for that thing. And we can just fast travel to there as well, I guess. Let's do that. Do you hear they'll be updating the engine to a new version? They have already, they have already to go to the next patch. Yeah, man, I totally believe that. 100% believe that there's a whole new game engine coming. Oh shit! Okay, can I put my shotgun on now? Wait, I can't change weapons now. I gotta do that. And then wait, that's the wrong one. And then that's it there. And then we can get right up in his face and then boom, blow him the fuck up. Except it does no damage. Lol. There's so much health. Look at this. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is he still alive? He's still alive. <laughs> oh god, okay. Logs, gather, thanks. Plan, Mr. Handy Buzzblade, Fusion Cell, 10mm, Power Raker, and let's go. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? 
That was really fun. Just just tanking each other in the face. Can I fast travel there now? Yes, I can. There we go. Yeah, by the way, on PC, Destiny 2 is totally free right now. You can just go to Battle.net and just download it. Or you can you don't even need to download it. You can just add it to your Battle.net account. And it's yours to keep forever. You don't get Forsaken, of course, but you do get the base Destiny 2 game. So, I don't know. Free game, man. Not bad. Go and check it out if you like. If you like. Oh, my God. Really? Is this dude back? Did this guy make a new account? If he did, I'm pretty impressed, I must say. Um, that's dedication. That's real dedication. So, <laughs> he made another account. <laughs> How good is that guy? Imagine what a shit life that guy leads. <laughs> like, just imagine what a, what a shitty, crappy life. And he's like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another account. I'm going to keep spamming KYS. That's a good way to spend my time. Oh, man. All right, I, I, am I stuck down this hill? Oh, no. Don't tell me that I'm, like, stuck down here and I can't get up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Okay, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, okay. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, good. Hey, Timmy's there. What's going on, Timmy? I thought I'd, um, what are you? Rip. He's like running away and I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> Just took a bullet for him. Mr. President, no. No. Uh, I can't pick up stuff until I go to that and then I close it and then I can pick up shotgun shields. Good. How do I get back up there? Now, there's super mutants up here, and they're high level as well, I remember. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is so good. He's just the best. Um, actually, is Nitro here? Where's Nitro? Can I, I can add you as a moderator here, Nitro. And you can do this. Can you do this work for me, Nitro? When you see, uh, when you see these people doing their thing. Um... There we go. And where's Timmy? You have mod uh, you have mod powers now, Timmy and Nitro. We've got to keep our friend Konzo under control. He's very overexcited. There we go. Did you get that? Did I click on the right names? Because it's actually quite tricky to click on the right names and see them. Because it, anyway, it's hard to explain. Um... Last time I was here, there were super mutants. They were too high level for me, and I kind of had to run away. But let's see if I can handle them this time. Super mutant fighter, level 16. Let's go and shoot him in the face. Shotgun! Hey, bro. Boom. <laughs> Look how little damage he took! That was right to the face. Jesus Christ. He's the same level as me. This is like a pretty decent weapon. I'm I'm point blank with a shotgun. Fuck me. Come on, man. Just die, please. God almighty. He has all the ammos. Marksman's true hunting rifle. Okay, let's check that out. Calibrated 10mm. Short automatic pipe rifle. Gunpowder. And he's got some stuff. Um... Alec asks, Thick Boy asks, can you delete Ralph's channel, please, Timmy? That's a good. That's a good. That's a good uh, request. I would. I would give that some some consideration, Timmy. Um, great Bandit. I haven't played original uh, Divinity Original Sin two. It's to my great shame. I know. I feel bad about it. I know it's amazing. I, everyone. Everyone I respect says it's incredible, but um, I just haven't had the chance. So one day I will, though. One day I will. Uh, Pre-war money and that and let's check out these weapons that he had. He had a lot of weapons there So let's just see what they're like so calibrated 10 millimeter pistol is Slightly better than the one that I've got It has slightly more accuracy, so I guess we'll keep it and then we'll drop the other one fine uh, What else do we got marksman true hunting rifle? Oh, okay. This looks kind of interesting Let's let's check that out. Let's have a look at that Molotov, uh, what else do we get? Short automatic pipe rifle. That's really crappy, but it will do in a pinch. And yeah, let's check out that. Um, true hunting rifle. Okay, good. Well, that's something. That's nice. 
Um, did, did Nitro not get a wrench? Oh, maybe I clicked on the wrong name. It's so annoying because it scrolls really fast and then you kind of need to like... God damn it. Man, this is actually super annoying. Nitro. I added you as a mod. I must have added someone else. For some reason, I got a mod icon. Okay, Vargas, I'm sorry, dude. Thank you, man. I accidentally clicked on your name. No no disrespect to you, but I'm removing you as mod. It was, I was meant to click on um, on Nitro, so that should work. Tell me tell me if that works now. Um, Nitro, I'm pretty sure I would, so. Alrighty, where are we going? We're going over here. We're trying to find something. I think I'll die if I fall off there, so let's not do that. Okay. Okay, oh. How did I miss that? Really? Oh, God almighty. So we're still looking for something around here. Something, something. It worked, yes. Thanks, Nitro and Timmy. You guys are the best. As long as we didn't, uh, we didn't, as long as we didn't mod our KYS friend, we're doing okay. That's the main thing. Transponder, circuits, weird brain fungus stuff. We've got what we needed from here. Construct the signal repeater at any Tinker's workbench. Okay. Don't know where one of those is. Uh, can't remember where a Tinker's workbench is, except for like at the starting area where I think I remember seeing one. Is there any on the map? Oh, here we go. It tells me there's one on the map here. Cool. I wonder if that's Tobias's camp. And it's like, it's telling me that that's it. Let's have a look. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Am I looking for a holotape? No, thankfully not this time. No holotapes, please. No more. Um, okay, Valiant. Yeah, just, just Valiant. That's, uh, remember Nitro and Timmy. It's a zero tolerance stream. Maximum ban hammerage. Okay. Anyone gets out of line, bam band just just iron fist that's how you manage a chat man nitro knows he's a fucking bro he knows what to do same crash airplane from fallout 4 location yep it's all reused man it's all just reused assets they're all the same stuff just reused Protectron. It's a, like a little, it's like a convoy of Protectrons. And you just, they don't even do anything. You just shoot them slowly. How am I so low on health? They also can't handle basic terrain either, so you just walk around trees and then you're fine. Do they take head, headshot damage? Oh, that was such a great shot. Why is there just so many Protectrons walking out in the woods? What's up with this, man? Where's the corpse? Here it is. Steel scrap I need. Yes, thank you. Alright, now I think it's someone's camp over here. I think it actually is his camp. Um, yep, yeah, so let's just use this dude's camp. We just stumbled upon it. You can see he's built it. It's not... um. I can just walk into it because I'm not PvP flagged. I can also dump my junk in here as well, which is kind of funny. Store all junk, thank you very much. And uh, I can break down other junk, scrap items. Uh, that's fine, I've already done that. Now I need to craft the signal repeater. Let's see if I've got the materials I need to do this. I bet you I'm missing aluminium or whatever. Quest items, signal repeater. Oh, okay, good, I can do it. I can create it, thank God. Phew, we did it. Um, best game of all time, Fallout 76. Game of the year, Fallout 76. Game of the generation. 
right? I, I was I was too quick off the mark with my God of War review. It really was Fallout 76 that we were waiting for this whole time, okay? I think the Tinker's thing is where I can craft ammo. It is now. What is What kind of ammo does my submachine gun take? Do I even have that equipped at the moment? 10 millimeter shot submachine gun. This is not the good one. This is the shitty one. But it takes 10 millimeter rounds. How much does it cost to craft 10 millimeter? Let's have a look. I have tons of gunpowder. It requires lead, steel, and gunpowder. And when I make one, it makes how much? How much does it make? What can I see? It makes 24 rounds for that. That's one. It basically makes one magazine. Look at how much steel it uses. I will burn through that so fast. Yeah, okay, whatever. Fine. Um, now, where's my good submachine gun? Wait, weapons here. No. Well, maybe that was one. I had one that would like put people on fire. Is that gone? Did I lose it? Is it dead? Man, I swear I had it. Are they just breaking and disappearing? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Can't be bothered to care about this for the last 20 minutes or 40 minutes of this beta, so let's just keep pushing on. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to get a supply drop over there. All right, let's go. Let's go get the supply drop, guys. I'll show you what this is like. Let's, we'll check this out. I might heal up first. I might just heal by eating. Um, aid stim pack. Stim pack super. Stim pack. Yeah, good. Um. And we're good. Let's keep going. Let's go get this event or this this supply drop. Oh, do the assets look like absolute garbage? I don't think it's you, dude. What the hell was that? This is another thing as well. Positional audio really broken in this game. You're like, there's no one around me, but it sounds like there's bullet, there's like you know gunfire like right next to me. See? And there's you don't know if it's left or right. It's just here somewhere like it's right under me almost you know can't wait to see the reviews of this turd i'm gonna be stunned if we start seeing eights seven like eights and nines and stuff from mainstream publications look at this see, see that audio like where is that where is that i will be stunned if there's an eight like an ign review that comes out it's like 8.5 like oh my god i can't wait to see that it would be so good to see the fucking comment section on that video uh, please, IGN, don't disappoint us, man. Do not disappoint us. Did you see the pop in, by the way, guys? Did you see that? I'm sure some of you would have noticed. This fire is just still happening, like, from wherever. Oh, God. Stop it! For the love of God, it's actually annoying. <laughs> and you hope this game running well. We should be stifled now. Fallout 4 runs poorly on my GTX. I'm actually downloading Fallout 4 right now as we speak just to test how Fallout 4 runs, like comparatively. Um, so I will be able to include that in my review as well to see, you know, what can we expect and how different does it look as well. Throwing knife, rat away, serrated Chinese officer sword. Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's check that out. Let's have a look. Uh, we go to um, items or weapons. Serrated. Where'd it go? Here we go. This is it. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's 23 damage. It's kind of interesting. Oh, look at it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Look at its hilt. It looks awesome. Okay. Well, that's something. That's a, that's a good meme at least. Didn't I have an axe? I think I dropped that axe earlier. I did. I remember I was out of room. Um, the hunting rifle is what I want. We picked up the supply drop. That was easy. And now, where's the signal thing? Go to the National Isolator Radio... Blah. Where is that radio relay thing it wants me to go to?
By the way, there's a quest up here. Totally bug. Just doesn't work. Went over there before. Doesn't work. Hey, Chris. Uh, I'm Valiant. Much regret. Was just trolling. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then there you go. Then. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. It's Chris777 for the three bucks. <laughs> and appreciate your trolls, I guess, but still banned, lol. Um, sword is from is old from Fallout 4 too? No way, I didn't even know that. I never got that sword when I played Fallout, okay. Um, where is the thing that I'm trying to... Oh, wait, I see something here. This is the... Go to this, this relay here. Right, so we can go to this fast travel point. Well, this is probably closer. And then we'll go from there. Frame drops are immersive. Is there fast travel? Yes, there is. You have to pay some invisible force to be able to fast travel for reasons unknown. I, I don't know why, so... Um, no, I haven't played uh, Enderil. No, I haven't. I haven't played any of those uh, gigantic Skyrim mods, so yeah. I know they exist. I know everyone loves them, but I've never really tucked into any of them, so yeah. Let's keep going. We've got uh, 25, we've got 35 minutes, guys, and we don't want to miss a second of the incredible Fallout 76 action. We have to, we have to keep pushing on, sucking the marrow from this game as it sucks my life essence out of me. <laughs> uh, um, will I do a video on the Diablo mobile fail? We're doing one on Layman today. We're, we're, we're doing some, uh, some follow-up stuff on that. Um, so... Zachary, oh good, you'll recognize some of the obnoxious bugs they've never bothered to fix. That and plenty of these assets. <laughs> Zachary is 100% correct. He's totally, he's totally right about that. Um, so, yeah, and the true story as well, when I played Fallout 4, I had to stop playing the first, when I, when I first played it, because there was a save bug in my Fallout that actually bricked my game. Um, and I, my previous save point was like four hours before, and I was so just pissed off that um, I just like, I can't be fucked. And I stopped playing Fallout 4 and I came back to it later on. But yeah, so my Fallout 4 playthrough was actually ended because of bugs. And that, that's forgetting all the bugs that happen along the way as well. So yeah. Oh, the other thing as well, just check out on a very basic level how long I can sprint for without stopping. Okay, so I'm sprinting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Roughly 16 seconds I can sprint for before I need to stop. And that's in a, ga in a gigantic open world game. Why? Why? Why would you give me a map this big and then make it so I can only sprint for 15 seconds at a time without need waiting to, like, recharge? So, yeah. Was the first video about the Diablo mobile not good enough? To be honest, no, it wasn't good enough because Thick Boy came on there <laughs> And Thick Boy said some stuff that got us the largest downvote ratio that we've ever got on a layman video. <laughs> he went ham on that on that video. So I was like, alright, we need to do another video on this. We need to talk about this some more because it was quite a funny situation. So you'll see another um another layman video today about um what the hell? About uh yeah, Diablo. So I he can hear a cockroach. Oh, it's this thing. Look at him. He doesn't he can't handle moving. So he's just gonna stay there. He can't handle ledges. And he's just running away now. See ya, man. Okay. Oh. And then I saw another one over there. But let's just oh wait. Is this a bench? It is a bench. Let's grab items. Yes. Let's grab all junk. Thank you. Did I actually scrap it? Oh well. No, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. Leave. 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 All right. So how bad is the game at the moment? Uh, dude, in my view, it's not very good. I don't like it at all, but, you know. Some people think it's great. So, as I've said on many occasions, go find those people. Listen to what they have to say. Don't just take my word as gospel. Don't just listen to me. Go and check out some other stuff because uh, there's certainly... What the fuck was that? Oh, one thing that hasn't happened this stream that happens all the time is you just randomly get damaged. Like, you're just standing here and all of a sudden, you're just like, Ugh! And you take damage from nothing. From nothing. There's nothing around you. Nothing's doing damage to you. But you just take damage randomly. That was... Uh, that happens all the time. L luckily, it hasn't happened in this stream. Or unluckily, depending on how you look at it. So, 
there's just so many long spans of nothing in this game like there's just so much empty space to walk around and you can't even sprint through it you have to walk through it ever so slowly just uh, it's just super boring do i think it's redeemable like vanilla destiny i i think look man any game's redeemable you know if you put enough work into it and you know build something cool build some great great ideas but oh, poor fox um but i think it's a long journey ahead to make this game a good game so look at this thing is it bugged out it's bugged out no it's not it's not bugged out yummy fox meat fox die i really really detest it <laughs> you talking about fallout strong words man strong words anything here that's good any desk fans give me a desk fan baby need that precious aluminium oh desk fan yes thank you god bless you desk fan i don't actually care about pretty much anything other than aluminium and adhesive i still have not been able to repair more than one weapon in the last five hours across two different streams so right away thanks corn mm, looks like a great color too Boiled water. Good. Oh, let's get out of here. Are we going the right way? Yes, we are. Give you asbestos. Yeah, there's. you can collect lots of asbestos. Oh, alright. We're walking. We're running for 15 seconds and then we've got to stop. By the way, if you touch the left or right keys while you're running, um, it stops you running. You can move the mouse and turn with the mouse, but the minute you turn with the keys, you stop running. Yeah, that's another great thing. Ah, oh, the water effects. That's right. Classic. Beautiful. Everyone got so mad in my video about that. All the, like, the, the, real, the people that really hate, hated that video especially hated the water effects part. They're like, you're so nitpicky, blah, blah, blah. You're such a dick skill up. I'm like, all right, man. Some guy was like, dude, Mario Sunshine was a game entirely built around water. Of course they have better water effects. I'm just like, that's a great comment right there. That's a brilliant comment. Thanks, man. Um, all right, we're nearly at the, we're nearly at the place, so. Still can't, still can't run. God, it's been such a long journey to get to this fucking dish. I don't want to fall down now, I'll probably die, won't I? I'll get down. What's fall, I don't even know what fall damage is like, but I've come so far, I do not want to die and then have to respawn far away. Did the lighting just magically change then when I looked away at the screen for one second? Did you guys see that? Oh, whoa. Did you guys see that? Okay, you, get, you definitely saw that. What happened? Where'd it go? Come back, come back, dark light. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, man, I'm trying to make it go dark again. <laughs> this game is out in nine days, ladies and gentlemen. Nine days. Get your pre-orders in. Get the power armor edition. Step right up. God bless this mess. Desk fan. Boom. Am I over in I'm over encumbered already. Wow. Uh great. I'm gonna have to drop a weapon. Let's drop a weapon, shall we? Uh the sword is a good meme, but I don't think I need it. The shotgun I definitely need. I'm using the hunting rifle. What do I have equipped right now? Marksman true hunting rifle and the short hunting rifle. So that can go. Great. Good, good progress. Okay. North Gaming, what's going on, dude? This game looks boring and I was excited. Yeah. It uh, is boring. It is unfortunately boring. I'm nearly at the end of the stream though, guys. I've got uh, 30 minutes left. Less than 30 minutes. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Wow, has been a graphics in this game. <laughs> you can see some of the frame rate drops that I'm getting now as I'm looking at this. Uh, you know, this looks pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the design of this, but, you know performance wise it's it's struggling oh god really how many are there
I'll just chill here while I just work them all down slowly and just miss. Great. Are they coming around the long way? Wait, wait. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's twitching. Great. He's a 26 projectron. Why is he here? Why do you do this? Like, why? Uh, you've sent me to a level a thing when I'm clearly going to be around level 16. You've got other ones that are lower. Why would you give levels? Uh, why would you then add a, an enemy that's like 10 levels higher than me that I do like no damage to? What is the point of that enemy at that point? God, it just... Look at, look at me. This is what I'm doing right now. They don't even do any damage to me. I'm just walking backwards, slowly working this guy down. This is a pretty decent weapon for my level, by the way. They're not even doing it. What is, what is this? What the fuck is this? My weapon broke! My weapon just broke. Holy shit. Where's my shotgun? My god. Jesus fucking Christ. Could you imagine if Destiny had combat like this? What people would say? Like, can you imagine? If, if if um the division had combat like this <laughs> you know what I mean? like mike if doom had combat imagine if doom had combat like this imagine any self-respecting game having combat like this oh my god <laughs> oh there's more oh, okay there like what literally what happened he just he turned around and as soon as i looked at him he, he just fell over what the fuck <laughs> oh my god this is just such a train wreck <laughs> okay we got treasure maps i guess oh aluminium scrap thank you thank you so that wasn't entirely not worth it we got some stuff in the end but Oh, there's more. Don't worry. The parade continues. Look at how little damage I took throughout that entire encounter, by the way. I don't have any special buffs going on. I got nothing happening. Hey, man. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? High five. Oh, that's not a high five. That's the that's a high five. Now you're doing it. That's exactly it. Thanks, man. Well done. Well done. Keep up the good work, buddy. I'm not even taking any damage, even against the level 26 enemy. He just becomes a giant bullet sponge for me. That's all. That's all it is. You know? <laughs> oh my god is there more i heard another, another shot oh there's another one down there but he can't handle the ledge so he's he's just he's just walking in circles just he he's like the ledge man i can't I'm, can you come down here and let me shoot you please he's that's what he said to me yeah man i'll come down sure. it's another level 26 good excellent another one I'll just reload and just stand here and tank him while I, while I reload. It's fine. He's not even hitting me, by the way. This is how close I am. He's missing me the whole time. He's actually not hitting me. Look. <laughs> Guys, skill up is a toxic fuckwit. <laughs> Who just hates on games for clicks <laughs> exhibit a this whole encounter okay exhibit a <laughs> my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like what if oh uh, the only thing that makes me happy when i play this game now is finding a desk fan okay that's that's the highlight of my entire fall my entire gameplay experience the desk fan um a ray control terminal. <laughs> We're not even going to bother clicking on that. Do I need to click on that? What am I doing here? Wait, install the signal repeater. 
I'm, I'm over encumbered again. That's great. That's just fantastic. Yeah, so I gotta close. Wait, what is that noise? I gotta close the door very quickly. One sec. encumbered we need to drop again as usual uh we need to drop a weapon i guess um maybe this pipe thing but no the sword the sword we said we would drop the sword as fun as it is we're not going to use it so we're going to drop it yep we're on the limit now again good okay the signal repeater needs to go somewhere maybe it's in this thing here so <laughs> is this game a late <laughs> it's an off-season april fool's joke guys it's an off-season april fool's joke but like seriously though, like, you know, let, let's be real. Y you can't look at what just happened then, that that encounter and say that that's acceptable. In, you just you just can't. Like, I just, I'm so stunned that there are so many people trying to defend this game as a good game. When, I mean, look at what you just saw, you know? It blows my mind. It blows my mind. We've got it. Are they back already? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! 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 No, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm finished. That's the end of the stream. That's fucking insanity. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, that's the end of the stream. We're, we're leaving, okay? We're done. We're done. That is insanity. Holy shit. They're already back. My god. Guys, that's the end of the Fallout 76 beta stream. It ended 20 minutes early because... I just... I can't anymore. I can't. I just can't even. I'm going to be uploading the VOD of this. You're going to be able to watch it, share it, whatever. Um, look. <laughs> uh, I mean, this game... If this game comes out like this, I'm telling you right now, my thumbnail is a new low for AAA gaming. Because how little effort is gone into this game how much of an asset flip it is, how technically broken it is, like how bad the core gameplay loop is, how bad its narrative and storytelling is, how bad its voice acting is as well, which is nothing I haven't even mentioned, how bad its UI is, how bloated the number of items it is. I just, from a triple A studio, if you put this out from a little indie dev for 20 bucks, I'd say, look, cut them some slack, man. They're, they're building, this is Bethesda Game Studios. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here today. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Consider checking me out on Patreon if you want. Become a member of the channel if you want to, you know, do that. You get the scripts and everything else. Um, there'll be the VOD up on this very soon. You can watch it again for fun because I'm sure you'd want to watch this again. Um, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, let me know if you'd want to do more YouTube streams as well because, uh, I mean, I'm on Twitch, but... Most of my audience is on YouTube, and it's kind of cool just to be here and hang out on YouTube for a bit. So let me know. Guys, thank you very much. I will see you again very soon.